hopefully um, Derek will come soon. Um, it's kind of hard when the when the um, I know it's kind of hard to see all the pieces and everything right now. Uh, hopefully that'll all get figured out by next game, and then I'll be able to come up on the uh, website, and then we should be able to see everything. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Let me try to see. Oh, it looks like it's over. Well, I'm going to assume that Shanklin won. <laughs> uh, but, you know, especially in a blitz thing, it's kind of hard for me to see what's going on. Hopefully, they'll try to figure out the technical difficulties now, and then we should be able to keep going. Uh, let's see. I clicked. Oh, okay, here we go. So if I go to here, it should be the second game. Even though the first game we had a technical difficulty. We marked it, I think we, oh, we put down 30 games. We'll see if we get all 30. I think we had some extra just um, to see if everything was working. Okay, this one is, the person um, challenging him next is our next year's uh, social media director, um, Peyton. Um, he's also one of the stronger people in the club. I would, he's on team. He's on the A team. I'm, I think he's around two thousand twenty one hundred, uh, blitz. Um, so he's probably one of the. I would say one of the five people in the room that has the best chance of beating him. Not that he's gonna win or anything, but you know. hopefully it'll be a competitive game. what they're looking at. Hopefully it's not me. That would be kind of awkward. Everyone's looking at the projector. It's funny that I can see what's going on. Um, I'm assuming that they're watching the feed of the game. Oh, I see. If they all start laughing that I'm talking about them, then I can tell that they're watching the stream. Start to tell. I'm trying to figure out, and it's a little bit of me trying to go back and forth, trying to like see what's going on with everything. Oh, that's oh, that's the bit rate. Oops. Yeah, it's also I'm on Wi-Fi and everything, so looks like the stream is a little laggy. Hopefully that doesn't affect it. Hopefully um, it OBS or whatever this is has a bit of a back sort of um, have some sort of feature to, that stalls it because I see our um, upload speed is all over the place right now. <laughs> so hopefully that all works out. All right, looks like they're starting. Um, we're gonna hope the clock. Let's see if the game actually works this time. I do know it is. Oh, okay, cool. It is working. Um, I do know they said it's gonna be a few seconds behind, which means in blitz, you know, it's gonna be um. Sometimes they might be like three moves ahead on the board because I think it's around an eight second or so delay. Um, they also have clocks. All right, here. Let me try to fix the um. Let's do some live editing real quick. Do this button and go like this, and then go like this, just to get the clocks in the game. Go like this, and then go here. And then go here. Now we have some clocks. It's also the setup we're using here is very. Um, this is just my laptop. We're in the rights right now, so it's. I'm just trying to make do with what we have here. <laughs> um, it looks like everything's kind of working out so far. 
and this is kind of the best we can do. Hopefully the lighting looks pretty good. A lot of it is I'm just blind, I'm just in the room by myself, in the rights, away from all the fun, waiting for uh, Derek to come save me. Alright, see if anything's going on in the chest, so. Hello. Derek's here. We finally got the DVC board. I know, it's working. Yeah, it looks like everything's set up. Um, so if you, you re if you refresh this. Oh, oh yeah. No, this is a, this yeah, is yeah, we're on the screen in the big room up here. We are? Yeah. Do they hear me? No. Oh, okay. Well, we heard you a little bit coming through on the on Discord. Yeah. On the no, originally. Buttons. No, because yeah. I was because I saw at one point everyone was looking up at the projector. I'm like, I wonder if they're looking at me. I'm like, I bet if they're looking at me, they go to they're gonna start laughing when I'm talking about them. And then no one laughed. I was like, maybe they're not looking at me. <laughs> um. So we just have. Do you have? A, did you bring a mouse? If you do, we can hook it up. But if not, yeah. you just have the trackpad, which is fine. That's fine. I mean, we're just following the game, right? Yeah. Um. It looks like everything's set up. So yeah. This is the second game. So Peyton's up. He's actually winning. It said 0.7 a bit ago. For black? For black, yeah. Well, Peyton's probably one of the better players to go today. Yeah. Um, he looks completely see. fine here. If I go to moves, you can go... Uh, we looks... can switch position. It's up to you if you want to switch to get the mouse there. You want to do it. Or you're just going to look at it. I can yeah, go this way. Yeah, All right, sounds good. Um, he looks completely fine here. I mean, he's threatening nice and true right now. Which is no longer a threat. Let's see if there's any other. Yeah, I think that's everything. I have chat there. Mm -hmm. No one said anything in the chat. I'll say hello to people. How many people are watching? Two? Uh, there's two right now. Um, I'm also recording it. I also started recording. Okay. Just for fun. Um, Because I know Twitch's recording's a little awkward yeah. sometimes. So it's fine. I have enough storage on here. Yada yada. Okay. Well, Payton's doing Maybe. pretty well. Yeah, I mean, he looks like he's doing fine. He can just play a normal move. Bishop f6, bishop c6. Yeah, and note for all these games, we made it, um, Sam Shankin's going to be playing as white. So it makes it very simple. Um, So that's why I didn't put... Actually, we do have... The challenger is always going to be the other person. Um, Hello, Sam. Uh, challenger is always going to be the other person Um, as black. Yeah. Um, and we didn't type in the names individually, just because of order, and we would have to be a lot of organizing but it's usually fun we can if we know the person we'll let you know who they are yeah i mean Payne's position is not bad here uh the bishop and the rook are both pointing towards f2 but sam can play f4 and he should just be slightly better yeah like here here f4 should be slightly better but, i mean Payne's position is not that unpleasant it'll be hard for sam to do anything unless Payton makes a clear blunder like that is. Because <laughs> now g4 is very unpleasant. Because uh, g4, if bishop g6, then f5 wins a piece. And if, if you have to move the bishop to c2, then already there are discoveries like bishop takes a5. So bishop g6 and then f5 will just win a piece for Sam here. Yeah. Also, the Wi-Fi's been a bit foggy. So for recording it, everything should be fine in post, but hopefully the stream doesn't get too laggy. Because yeah. I'm looking at this right now, and it's been jumping all over. This is the bit rate or whatever. It's been okay. it's been tipping down the zero a lot. I'm like, well, um, the recording should be fine and everything. Like bishop h3 just wins a exchange here for Sam. He plays knight c4 instead, which is also okay, because he's just... Up a piece for two pawns. Why is knight takes b6? But... <laughs> yeah, I mean, Sam is just up a piece here. So you're almost threatening me? And... Wait, what happened? Oh, they moved quick or something. Yeah. And then here he should be winning... 
and Rook eventually, like, if Rook F8, then just Rook takes F7, Rook takes the other Rook to F1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rook E... Rook A E1, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, well, Sam just simplifies into a yeah. random game. It's interesting how we have, like, lag back on this board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might also be just because they're playing quick. I think it looks like he resigned or something. It's funny, it's going to be yeah. a few seconds behind the... Yeah, so just because there's lag, there's going to be a few seconds behind um, their footage with ours. Yeah, Peyton just dropped a rook. Yeah. Uh, Who's going up next? Nicholas Falls. Don't know much about Nicholas. Let's see. Okay. So I think the video we have is real time, but the board The is videos... Delayed. Yeah. Uh, well... I mean, there's still, it's probably the video is more like a second ish delay where the, the um, other thing's a bit longer. But... Do they have, so they have the stream up on? Uh, they have this page up, so we're like here. Oh, we're there's... in the corner. Oh, so there should be an infinite. Oh, so if I refresh, it should come up. I don't think I want to. Then it'll be an infinite image. <laughs> it'll be something. Uh, actually, no, it won't. No, because you don't have that on your screen. Yeah, yeah, I don't. So actually, it might be okay. Oh, that's true. E5. I don't want to mess with the bandwidth, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I do not know very much about the Budapest, but the computer says white is better, so I will trust really? the computer. Those look like weird pawns. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. I guess they have more development than black, but... Whoa, did he play bishop c3? That's, that seems like a... Oh, okay, it corrected itself. Yeah, DGT is kind of finicky. But here, like, white should just be significantly better. Yeah, f4. And white just has a lot more space. If black castles kingside, then h4 will come very quickly. And on the other hand, it will be pretty difficult for black to develop pieces quickly enough to castle on the king side. <laughs> the clock. <laughs> it's uh yeah the clock is a bit finicky as well yeah yeah i mean it's hard for black to ever castle queen side here because if you play queen e7 or queen f6 then knight d5 comes in right away and you have to move the queen back to d8 but on the other hand if you castle king side h4 h5 h6 is very fast and very annoying mm -hmm. yeah somehow i just looked away and now all those pawns look good now yeah so sam plays h4 right away which makes sense I don't know what I would do here for black. I mean, I guess you have to play h5 to prevent h5 from white, mm -hmm. but I don't know where you're going to castle. On the bright side, it's not like completely obvious what white is supposed to do, because if you play f5, then black gets a nice outpost on e5. Mm -hmm. White's position is just really comfortable. And so oh. black is getting pushed further back. It's night. E seven better because then you can castle. Now it just seems like you're being stuck. Well, I think Nicholas wanted to play knight e six and then knight c five. Oh, free so rally. Plays okay. c five right away, which is interesting. Yeah, I guess e seven. You don't really have anywhere to go. Yeah. I guess the idea if black takes or the idea of c five is to clear the c four square for the bishop. Because if white mates black, it doesn't matter if you're down a pawn. What is this here? Oh, that was the background image for. I had to basically I made the whole OBS thing from scratch, like what I was setting up. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I had to remake it real quick. Oh, you don't have it saved somewhere. We did. Well, this is, I do it on my desktop, first uh, of all. I tried to do, like, save it and upload it to Andrew's computer, and it's just, it gets really awkward, because it tries to reference things that don't, like, it tries to reference the image. It doesn't actually save to OBS, it references the file name. Uh, so it's like, if it's a different file name, it just, like, the whole thing was just, like, it's error. It's uh, just errors everywhere, and I'm just like, uh, it was not, or it was just better to make it from scratch. No, I got everything. Uh, my honors assignments got graded, so I'm actually going to graduate from the honors program. Wow, Queen E7. 
So it's funny it showed a miss win. It showed like an error blunder <laughs> in yeah. the game preview. That's weird. Yeah, that's why like Black's position was tough. You always want to play queen e7 or queen f6 to be able to castle queen side. But mm -hmm. then white gets to play knight d5 right away. Yeah, and, and you're... you have to move the queen back. And the queen go to like... Oh, why are they... They're showing blunders or something. Some of it might be the DGT board is also... Going back and forth a few times. Yeah, the DGT boards are definitely not worth the price that they cost, but they are also the only option available. Okay, so now Nicholas castles queens or kingside, but just g4, g5, and white should be winning pretty easily. I don't think Sam did that though. I think he's going for the d6 pawn, which I guess if you win a pawn, you'll win the game eventually. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to think if I can make a DGT board. I think everything, the only confusing part that I'm not sure is how to do, how to make, how to know each piece is its thing. You have to somehow communicate, the board has to communicate or detect which piece it is. Um, and I, that part I'm not 100% sure how they do it. Well, I guess when you lift up a piece, you can know that that piece. You can, that but they don't do that. It actually knows, because you can play, Um, you don't have to start it. That's assuming you start at a normal position. But if it's like 960, you can't do it. It's more reliable to have it. And then you don't have to keep track of everything. If there's an error, you just run, scan the board and make sure the piece is that. Mm -hmm. um, you can with like pawns. You only actually, oh, the game's over. But like you with, um, with like pawns and stuff, you can actually like have the same signature. You don't have to say pawn one, two, three, four. You could have just the same thing for all the pawns. But I haven't thought, I don't know exactly how they do that. There's probably two different, it's either like a different magnet sort of thing or it sends like some signal and sends it back. But oh, I see. I'm not sure how they do it, but... Well, well here Nicholas is either losing the exchange because of the rook on c7, or if he moves the rook, then the bishop on d7 will hang. Next up, we have Aiden, our vice president, probably also one of the stronger players out of the ones that are going up against Sam today. Yeah, hopefully... Okay, good, it's going. Is Aiden going to play a perk? <laughs> Maybe. I guess a king's Indian. Is it kind of just a move order? Uh, king's Indian. I want to. I don't know if this is correct, but I want to say the king's Indian is more like when the pawn is on c4. Mm -hmm. If this pawn was on c2, it would be a perk. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if that's correct though. Well, I thought it's. Yeah, I guess it's more based on black setup. I don't know. It's same same sort of position, right? Yeah. Same stuff. This is a pretty standard line. Aiden said he doesn't play the King's Indian much, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah, so Aiden's idea here is to play like knight e8 and then f uh, f5. So I assume we'll see like knight e8, f5, f3, f4, bishop f2. And Aiden will try and attack on the king side and Sam will play for c5. Exactly, as I predicted. Sam is still above three minutes. <laughs> yeah, also the clocks, I'm assuming the clocks are not messed up. But it's funny it shows mistakes. <laughs> I don't think rook c1 is a mistake. Yeah. Let's see, they have moves. Let's see what other tabs you have analysis. Oh, yeah, it's just funny. How Wait, that's a missed win signal, right? A6? Yeah, where they... Or did they update their like game review thing? I don't know. It says missed win, but they didn't really miss a lot. <laughs> so, whatever. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think... No, I think it is a missed win, but... It's just funny how they... They're trying to do it live now, I guess, which is weird. You know, it's not post, which uh, they you can, right? But yeah, it's just funny. I'm like, the eval didn't really change much, so I don't really know what they missed. I wonder if they're seeing the missed win and all those in the room. Like, if Aiden could look up and be like, oh, A6 was a blunder. Um, we'll be like eight seconds behind, though. Yeah, that's true. I do that too, but even if I think you can, like, it makes sense to because it's kind of stream, stream sniping, we can say. Yeah. I think it's like. 
probably when um and like you the faster it is you the harder it's to do it like in a bullet game you're not gonna spend five seconds oh that what is the right move here you're just <laughs> you know you just it's better to just play the move by instinct right yeah. um i would say you know probably rapid is where it gets to but uh, that's what i'm saying it's like even if you were kind of the cheat it's like i don't like that <laughs> if it would help you that much <laughs> it, it might even hurt you Aiden's doing all right here. He's not, you know, going to lose immediately. <laughs> Very optimistic. I feel like he's not completely lost. <laughs> well, I mean, this sort of position is just like, like clearly better for White, and that's it. Oh, they said they disabled everything. They disabled the miss win section. Wow. Ah. Um. So I guess it is on. I don't know how we do that. On this. There might be a way. I don't want to touch anything well, we'd and mess probably, up the feed. We'd probably have to just like turn off the eval or something. Oh, that's boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aiden's doing all right here. I mean, if he gets bishop d7 in and like starts trading stuff off, like his position is is actually not so bad. King d2 is an interesting move. Very interesting. I would have castled. But I guess king d2 does make sense. Like if you expect to trade queens sooner rather than later the king is much closer to going like c3 b4 a5 b6 oh blunder why is that a blunder not because of that let's see yeah why was 97 a blunder 95 because of knight takes d7 well knight c5 and bishop a7 oh and then knight b6 interesting or knight c5 Weird computer lines. Oh, because knight c5 if takes, then d6 with check wins the queen. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's, let's go through a few more things. Here, knight take. takes, queen takes. And here, bishop a7 wins because nope. <laughs> cause the rook had to go to a8 or c8, and then knight b6 would win the rook. I feel like you should even be playing. You should play like a best of three. Well, the issue is, like, if I play him... Oh, he's been playing d4 today, right? Has he? Yeah, he played d4, oh. mm -hmm. and at least in the last two games. So I'll get to play a Dutch. I won't have to play a French, because <laughs> the French is just terrible for black. I have, like, Roy Lopez lines, but then I would have to review them before the game. How many would you think you would need to, like... Win a game? Well, if we did, like, best of three, or, like, you know, we play three games. Like If I played Sam three games? Yeah. I think my expected score would still be zero. I think I would, it would have to be, like, ten games for my expected score to be, like, half. Really? Half point. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll say 20% chance if you play three games? Of, of getting a draw? Well, of getting um, any point? Yeah, we'll say draw is fine. Maybe a little lower than twenty, maybe like ten percent. Really? Yeah. If it was for a class three, huh? for three games? Three games. I have to draw or win at least one. Yeah. Yeah, like ten percent. Really? If it was classical, it would be much lower. Mm -hmm. All right. And since the time we last looked at the game, Aiden has lost the piece. And it's about the flag. Yes. This is very I don't know if it's humbling or Kind of depressing for us. Like I knew like, that we're losing. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I knew we were gonna lose, right? But it's just I don't know. Yeah. It's just like it's just that sort of feeling that we're gonna watch all of our friends play and just get crushed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what's the point? <laughs> well, the lecture this morning made me realize how bad I am at chess. <laughs> <laughs> you were humbled. Yeah. Like, I felt pretty good about my chess after being here for three years, you know? That's true. There's nobody good here. There was one move. There was the one time you suggested a move during it. I've, like, I was just, like, I was sitting next to Andrew, and I was just saying, like, whispering and what moves I was thinking, right? Yeah. And usually most of my moves were just, he, he kind of hinted at sort of moves. I didn't know the idea, but he was just like, oh, this is something we, we brought up last time, right? Yeah. And I was just like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> 
just like, oh, okay, like, it's probably, like, one of these two moves, because that's one of the ones we mentioned, and then I guessed the move that he was thinking of, and you said the wrong move, and I was just like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but I had no clue why it was a good, you know, I was I was just trying to think of it logically, not looking at the chessboard at all. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, analysis or whatever. All right. All right, so Aiden lost that game, but I think he put up a good fight. He was hanging on through, like, 20 or 25 moves. Who's the next challenger? The next challenger is Soham Patel. I think Soham is eighteen or nineteen hundred, if I'm not mistaken. So I think this could be a good game. So Sam is playing D4 today. So if I get to play a game, I'll get to play like a, a Dutch. We can't tell him that. I guess it doesn't matter. Like they're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even if you told him the Dutch, he's just like then he'll play E4. Yeah. Soham with a semi slav. Very solid. Is I always wonder, is semi slav just like Paro but D4? Kind of. Uh well semi slav is C6 and E6. A slav is just C6. Mm -hmm. But it's it's very similar to Parocon, just D4, right? A Slav and a Karocon? Yeah. I guess you could say so in terms of black's moves. Yeah, okay, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, I guess white's is different. Yeah, but you can still like the Karo, sometimes you play e4, d4. Seems like it might transfer. I don't know. I don't know if you play that in the Slav, though. You play. Probably don't play d4, then e4. So. Yeah, in the Slav, the pawn's always on e3, unless you push yeah. it and trade. You play c4 instead. Uh, what, in the Slav? Yeah. 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 Sam's down on time. Oh, no. You were just, the clock went off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as long as, if you still only use, like, 10% of your time, I think it's fine to be too. Yeah. I wonder if Sam's just winning a pawn here? Like, knight takes e5, knight takes e5, bishop f4? Because if you do something like f6, I can take, and then if you take back, I take with the bishop, and if queen takes, then bishop takes h7. Yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed. Yeah, here, if, like, knight takes, bishop f4. And then f6, and then d takes e5, f takes e5, bishop takes e5, queen takes e5, white has bishop takes h7, winning the queen. Oh, yeah. So I think yeah, Sam... I was thinking something like something like this eventually. Oh, oh we it's on the board. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't really understand why this position is plus four, if, white just, if black just plays queen d7, but apparently it is very good. I guess queen d7, queen h5. And you can't play g6 because bishop takes g6. Can you play like queen? There's almost like a queen check eventually, right? Queen b3? Queen a3 eventually? No, but I think queen h5 um, is just winning here. Yeah. Because you can't play g6. And if you play h6, just queen g6. Yeah, there's bishops or. Are... Just yeah. everything's. Like the computer says the best move here is rook f5. So if the best move <laughs> is rook f5, like you're lost. Yeah. Just work up five. Oh, so just your king can run away. Yeah. So I think Soham missed. Bishop takes h7, and uh, his position just kind of collapses after that. Mm -hmm. What's the move? This is queen g6, but then you're not. Oh. Ooh, second brilliant move. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, it doesn't show the brilliancies anymore. Oh. But we're keeping track. Yeah. And the idea, of course, is if king takes g7, then queen g6 check, forces king h8, and then queen h7 takes. I mean, then if you don't do anything, I mean, just queen g6, right? Or, or you just take the rook. Yeah, you yeah. can take the rook. And... <laughs> oh, this stuff's happening. Lots of glitching around. Yeah. Not a fan of the DGT boards. Some of it's hard, like... Yeah. Oh, wow. Queen e8 is made in three. Queen e8, king takes, bishop g6, Wait, king what? f8, rook e8. What eight. is this? Oh, my. This is so tricky. Yeah. And then rook d8? Yeah. Or the other one, I guess. Yeah. A very nice find by Sam to end the game. Both are mate, right? Yeah. Rook yeah, okay. This was a very nice game. It was queen e8 not a brilliancy? Like, that should have been the third brilliant. Queen e8? Really? How is that not a brilliant? We can we can check. 
Can we analyze? I don't know what the Y does. Review. Oh, it does live review. Oh, that's cool. Um, it does not. It shows you live accuracy. It does not show us live. Um, well, I think Queen E8 should count as a billion C's. So that was <laughs> three. three billion moves in one game. Wow. We should have. Well, we should have made a tally for the brilliant moves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get all my brilliant C's on chess.com. Sometimes you have a. I I don't know how many I have. Maybe like twenty to fifty. Oh, Ayush is playing. So Ayush might... Ayush. This... I think Ayush is the highest rated player, according to Chess.com Blitz, who is scheduled to play today. Yeah. yeah. He's... King F8. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of it's confusing, too. I bet because chess players will, like, slide pieces. Yeah. Um. So it has to have some software of, like... Like, playing illegal moves, too, it has to know, like has to rearrange the board if they play. like I think it's still the game doesn't it doesn't crash like if you play an illegal move. Yeah. It shouldn't. So there is some like some choice that's why it's kinda glitchy sometimes, but mm. um, it also doesn't I think it's just it's not designed for blitz. Can Sam just take on B five here? Knight takes B five, Bishop takes E three. Seems like it should be good for Sam. But he just castles. I wonder, are they asking what the rating of people are when they play or no? No, I don't think so. No, it's just random. But the simul tomorrow will be in. Um, yeah, yeah, that's in order. order. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But I mean, I would assume the better player, like, the, there's probably not going to be like an 800, I don't think, playing it as much. It's more like we're making the, the better, the more dedicated good people are playing, right? The old covers yeah. blitz? Yeah. There are a few players under a thousand, but I think mm -hmm. most are high. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. After knight takes b5, Ayush didn't play bishop takes e3. I think he was just intimidated by his opponent's rating. <laughs> and did not want to go into complications. Yeah. But now he's just out of pawn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is not the type of position you want to be down upon in. You want to be, if you have to be down a pawn, you want something complicated. And this one, yeah, Ayush might survive for like 20 more moves, but he's going to lose. Oh, you're being very, what is it, melodramatic? Melodramatic? Is that what they're called? Pessimistic? Pessimistic is better. What's yeah. melodramatic? Melodramatic is like, like, oh, this is the worst thing to ever happen to Ayush. Oh, okay. Yeah, pessimistic. <laughs> You're being a a doomer, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I guess it makes sense. It's uh very objective, but it's just funny. It's just like, oh yeah, he's just I think the way you said it very objectively. It wasn't just like I would have said a sarcastic like, oh, he's probably gonna lose. It's like it's hopeless, but you were just like, no. It's like he's definitively lost in twenty moves and there's <laughs> nothing he can do about it. Yeah. I guess it's just what you do, but it's just funny. Here, b3, and then black is forced to play queen a6 to hold on to b5, and then e4 hold on the pawn. Because you can't play bishop takes a4, or b takes a4 because of the pin on the queen. Yeah. They don't know the rating. Okay, so he's lost it, yeah. And Sam is looking up at the big screen, which shows he's that he is winning. They can't see you. Oh, he can't see you. Yeah. Oh. Paul's <laughs> waving to Sam. Yeah, I mean, here Sam can just trade have, queens and take the pawn. They have the eval bar up, I guess, technically, right? No, I think they turned the eval bar. No, but from our screen, they can see the eval bar. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess it's helpful, but I doubt they're going to be looking up. But that's a very long delay. Yeah, it's probably 10 seconds. Cause, yeah, because it's like 8 seconds on the DGT board and another few. Yeah, plus screen. we're hiding the um, the engine line, so it's not like you can do a whole lot. Yeah. You're just like, oh, look, I'm losing. It looks like I thought. <laughs> it's interesting. Like, would you, you wouldn't resign in this position as black, right? Against Sam. Oh, against him? Yeah. I mean, you're expected to lose the game. There's not much, you know, you don't really play top players. I think that happened to Hikaru when um people played him on, like, sub Sunday or whatever. I, I think he still might do it, but 
he like people were re- he like one guy resigned earlier and he was getting not like a mad at him but he was just like like you're probably gonna lose right but like you yeah. don't really get a chance to play me that much or play top players so it's just like you yeah. should just play out a full game right yeah i guess so like you're you're not playing the game to probably not even play good chess right you want to play good chess but it's like it's hard to play good chess when someone's that good yeah um for your level so it's just like just kind of like have fun and just like you know that makes sense well, I've played Sam once before in a rapid tournament, and I resigned in a position with equal material. Because <laughs> I was playing white, and I had an isolated queen pawn, mm. and I was about to lose it and go yeah. into an ending, and I was down a lot on the pawn. Well, for you, I'm saying for you, it makes sense. That's an actual tournament. I meant more like for those levels. When you're like 2,000, yeah. when you're playing like a top, you know, 20 in the world person, and if you're like... Two thousand. If you're not, if you're like a thousand or twelve hundred, and you're never gonna have a chance to play this guy professionally, right? You just yeah. might as well like have fun. You're not gonna win, but just like, just like have fun playing chess and just you know, be. It's more of a story thing rather than like, yeah, you trying to you know. So just play it out. Well, I I usually want a pawn back, which is pretty surprising. Mm-hmm. So there's hope. B five looks like it could be an unpleasant move yeah. for Sam. But I, I used didn't hear the sense. a lecture earlier about having past pawns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was not there. That's why he's losing. That's why he's losing. Exactly. Otherwise he would have won. Oh, I was I was thinking that it was his pass. What do you mean he won the pawn back? He was down two pawns? Yeah, he won a pawn back on A2. Mm. And nice E5. Well rook check first. Yeah, rook D eight and um rook D eight. I think. Or a free pawn. That works too. Because if you play knight takes b3, all three of your pieces are on the same file. It's a very easy skewer. Wow, we have four viewers now. Yeah. We've doubled. So in 20 minutes, we will have eight viewers. Yeah. Guys, tell your friends. I mean, well, to be fair, there's about 30, 40 people in the room. Yeah. So we'll say the viewer counts a little bit. Misleading, I guess. I guess one of the viewers is well. One of those these viewers is them, right? No, I don't know how it works. I know that um with stuff like this too, when it's embedded, mm-hmm. sometimes the view counts very very wonky. Like um like if say if chess dot com was um for, was um highlighting our stream, right? Something like that. Yeah. Um. Then if people glance over it, like on the home page, every time someone goes on the home page and it pops up, it acts as a view. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it like I was watching one stream where like. They were randomly at ten. It would jump up to twenty five and go back to ten. Uh, so it's like sometimes it's um, ours is probably accurate, but I'm saying sometimes like when, um, it's embedded. Sometimes the it's because some people like we're watching. Like technically, we might be a viewer right now <laughs> if we're watching embedded, right? But I don't know how that works. Well, I've like I've noticed on our streams in the past. Sometimes it'll say we have like ten viewers. Mm-hmm. And then I'll open up the chat and see what usernames are in chat, and they'll be like fifty. Yeah, sometimes it's um. Next up, so I usually lost that game. Next up is Ethan, who I think is like fifteen hundred. Yeah, I'm thinking his name is Memethan. <laughs> Memethan, John Ethan Masher. Thinking of his username. Is it another D4? Yeah, lots of D4s today. We have a Grunfeld. I don't know anything about the Grunfeld. All I know is Hikaru once said it's too advanced for beginners, and it sounds like a fancy name, so I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, ninety four seems like the correct move. It looks correct. C5. I mean, I'm going to assume that the GM knows his theory on very deep lines, so I would just play a gambit. <laughs> well, I also assume that Sam doesn't want to reveal his opening preparation in Blitz games in his 1500s. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I would play, like, like play something like the Hippo. <laughs> just to, like, insult him. If you're going to lose, you better... <laughs> yeah, somebody should play a Bond Cloud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'd be hard, though, because you only play one, so you're just like, you don't want to throw, but... Yeah. For content, I'll play. if I play it, I'll play it. No, I've never played the Bond Club, though. Like, even, like, online casually, so... Really? Not really. 
I looked at my trust.com stats recently, and F3 is my highest scoring league, I think, by percentage. <laughs> and I played like 10 games in it. Yeah. But I probably only played against like a thousand. Yeah, it's funny because I'm like very. My openings are always the same thing for the most part. So there's like a few one off moves I played five times, and they have like either insanely high or low rates. <laughs> probably my queen h5 win rate's pretty high just because I only play it against bad people. Oh. Like, I only play that if it's, you know, someone under 800. And I'm just, like, trying to, <laughs> I'm just trying to, like, if they don't know the line, then I'm winning. And if, you know, if they know the line, it's only, like, minus one. Yeah. So here I think Ethan has to castle. Because Sam's threat is bishop takes f7, king takes f7, and then knight g5. Check. With a discovered attack on the bishop on g4. So Ethan castle. I think he played queen a5. Which loses to... to bishop f7. Fun stuff. Or also queen b3 is Bishop f7, better. oh, and then you win the bishop? Yeah, queen b3 is good to attacking b7 with f7. Mm -hmm. He castles. Instead, Sam just castles, which renews the threat on f7. But he gives Ethan the opportunity to castle. Mm-hmm. And then he's all in. Mistake. Mistake. Well, we does should've... that mean mistake or like missed wins? Means... Um, not sure. That's miss. A miss. It says it's a miss. It also said like Aiden's a six was like a miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's. Hello. You joining the stream? So we weren't going to get the audience more involved. So what we're going to do is guess the move, and I was sent up here to keep track. If we guess, guess, guess the move the most accurately, the most often. <laughs> guess the move like guess the move on, on the com. yeah so they can do that on the game yeah there it is should, i saw there is a in vote the chat it should show you there's a vote section i don't know where the, oh chat oh thing twitch chess.com wait where are they guessing the move on chess.com there's definitely a way to do it there is i think if we type in a move it does act as a guess oh uh, well you might have to pull up the game separate okay so let's see if i go here i think if i do something like so I know like you can guess H6. the move on like live games. Yeah. I don't know if you can do it on something like There's that. vote. This just votes for who we think is going to win. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do it. Pull it up on your phone. If you like make a move on the board, does that count as a vote? Oh, true. Um, so let's go like this. I think that's just analysis. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just analysis. Well, what if you make a move while we're on news? Come on, Derek. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just analysis. Yeah. Uh oh, queen takes e six. Yeah, it looks like if we do um, we could definitely do like a live sort of game. Towards the end, when, if we do some of our events that we haven't decided, we'll ask people what they want. Well, I think we're going to do a thing where collectively the audience chooses the move yeah. and then Sam is playing blind. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that'll be fun. We just need to figure out how to do that. Yeah, there's a little bit of yeah. yeah, I guess I'll go back then. Okay, you want to yeah. go? I mean, you can stream with Derek. You want me over here? That's up to you. <laughs> You're like, I have a hat. You can wear a chess.com hat. And I'm you. wearing nothing trustful. <laughs> then you can wear the hat. Many people are watching. Just two. It's been on and off, but I noted there's like 30 people in the room. Also, that viewer count is always inaccurate. Whenever I look at it, um, it's all it always like yeah. is under so the amount the of screen, people who are you know? in the chat. Mm -hmm. You're right there, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna message Trey to guess that it's not gonna happen. Did he flag? Nope. Never flagged. Is he winning? Well, Sam has a connected pass pawn. 
I learned that this morning's lunch. <laughs> he did not. He didn't get that far. No, no. He said there are three types of pass pawns. He didn't give any examples. He didn't give any examples. I just remember okay. okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. The pass pawn is. Yeah. Sorry. The lecture this morning was all about pawn play. Was it? I, I did enjoy how the premise of each book is very simple. Mm -hmm. But then the examples... Yeah, yeah, because because the one he yeah like how he said it was very like trivial things no of just like if you know the yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like well duh, I know I told Andrew that I'm like I already know that <laughs> I already know pawns can go backwards and past pawns are good yeah. you know. Well, Ethan loses that game. I think he uh, did well. Look, he's smiling. He's right over there. I saw him smiling. Yeah, he's, I think I think he did cycles. well up until he is sideways. I had to rotate the camera. Yeah, he did well up until he blundered queen takes e six. He was doing well until he lost his game. <laughs> Next up is Abelardo David Montalvo. Oh, I think man. he's a fifteen hundred player. Yeah. Look, Sam is playing d four every. We should have required him to play a different opening move in every game. Yeah, we should go tell him he has to play C4. So then by the time I got down there, he would be forced to resign on the first move. Huh? <laughs> then he would run out of... Oh, he, oh, he has to play a different move. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. We should tell it. Yeah, we should send someone down and say you're not allowed to play D4 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you can play anything else. If he doesn't respond, just can go back down. Okay. Yeah. You keep doing what you're doing now. All right, tell tell Trey to tell Shanklin no more D four. <laughs> He's contractually obligated <laughs> to play D four. Yeah, actually, you missed that clause in our contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so a Keen's Indian here from the challenger. Pretty standard position, C five. So I'd expect castles and like. Uh, either a6 playing for b5 or at some point something like trying to push for e6 or e5. Yeah, I feel like when the stream lags, it's, it also could be just the connection is why it's laggy too. Because hmm. um, the bitrate usually does drop when there the Discord footage kind of cuts out and when it seems like the boards. And I think the boards a little bit calm. Yeah. Hey, this is something from the morning's lecture. So Abelardo, he played b6, mm. which creates a hook. Mm. So Sam played a4. Is that the idea? The hook is the idea is that you because if they play, if you're like here, right? Yeah. And then the pawns, the pawns right here, you can just play it and yeah. uh, lock it. But then if it's like this, you can't lock anymore. So that's the idea. Yeah. So b6 yeah. is a hook for a. Because now they can't play b5 to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, you know, the pawn's not protected. Yeah. So after e6, I think Sam can win a pawn here. He could take, play knight b5, and then take on b6. I was faster than the computer. Oops. It took the computer longer to recognize it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. This is also, I'm, I'm not sure if the stockfish here is running. It's probably running on my computer native. I don't know if it's, if it's their engine or my computer. It's funny when I had a premium, you could like you could have their cloud engine run stuff. Yeah, and it was just so <laughs> bad. It's just funny. You're just like, whoa! It was probably probably like twenty times faster than my computer. Mm. But there's other stuff you can have it optimized for, because those those servers are only running chess and hosts. So yeah. you can do some uh, some stuff, but it's just funny. They probably have some fancy server. Yeah. So Abelardo should play a6 at some point to prevent knight b5. So far he has. Yeah, knight b5 looks... Well, knight b5 even if... if I don't know if, if you can even play that with, yeah. the, with the glitchiness. But. Yeah, knight b5 just looks great. And then you attack the d6. Yeah. So Sam plays knight d2 so he can play f4 and force the knight back. Because mm -hmm. when your opponent is cramped, you don't want to trade pieces. He has a lot of though. Sam has a lot of yeah. Let me try to. Sam has a lot of pieces here though. <laughs> in that in that square. Yeah, look. <laughs> I don't know. He just it's a very much like a, I don't know. It's just like a little box. Yeah. It's funny. Like all of his pieces, but one are in a like a three by three grid. The very first option. I don't know. It just looks funny. 
It's just, I never see that in like, I don't ever really see that. So. Like, it's probably good. Most of the night, like, the night he's moving to reroute them, obviously. Yeah. Like, the night's got to go to C4 eventually, maybe. Uh, at some point. Maybe even E4. Double cause right. I should have done that prediction. Yeah, so here's Tam's threatening knight B5, so Abelardo should play bishop A6 or A6. He plays bishop A6. Slow move. Why is knight b5 still not? Oh, knight b, okay. It's kind of, yeah, well, engine it, says it's kind of a thing. It still doesn't win anything right away. Yeah. And if you move it, then you have to protect e4 the next And they're going to play a6 eventually, right? After the queen moves? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah. Well, like, brick f e1 eventually. Oh, now brick f e1 looks kind of good. Oh, look at me go. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed a lot of, I, I've noticed that like Grandmaster and Super GM play is a lot more technical and like computer accurate than even how I play. Like you play for more like tricky and swindles where they will still play objective. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe that's just my style because I like playing games that are like unbalanced unbalanced that are interesting to me even if what i'm playing is objectively incorrect yeah yeah i mean that's probably the thing like i bet if i played like against him and i played against you like i might technically last longer against him right? yeah, that's true if you if yeah <laughs> because <laughs> just his play just the style is very objective and he'll he'll yeah. definitely win in the long run yeah but like he'll play d4 mm -hmm. you'll get to play an opening that you know yeah Against me, you probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could play like F4, and I'm like, well, I'm already up. <laughs> or not F, yeah, like F4, that would be something. Well, when we went to the Southern class last weekend, or two weekends ago, uh, one of my games, I was prepping a King's Indian line for my opponent, mm -hmm. and I really didn't like the positions I was getting. Mm -hmm. And then I got to the, but I prepped for 15 minutes, and I was like, okay, I'm going to play this. And then I got to the board, and I saw the game next to me. The guy had played f4 on the first move. And I was like, oh, I can do that. So I played f4 <laughs> on the first move. And yeah. the first, I was like boards four and five of the open section. Mm -hmm. And the first six moves of our two games were exactly the same. <laughs> well, you play f4 and you play e4, right? I would think. Like in terms of like a king's gambit, or what, what is the idea? I know, I just play like a reverse dutch. I play like a oh. reverse line. Oh, I guess, yeah. It was actually interesting because the other game was ahead of us. Mm -hmm. So the white player next to me played a move. <laughs> Sam stretching. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks funny. Yeah, the white player next to me played a move on the sixth move, and his opponent responded it responded to it in a way that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. So I played a different sixth move. All right, so that's a win for Sam. And next up is yeah. Sam Kim. So we have Sam and versus And this is going to be the first non-D4 game, according to our newly created contract. Yes. He's prepping. Now he doesn't know what to play. <laughs> Where's Sam Kim? He's in the chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's in the chat. I feel like we should give Glenn a shout-out, too done a good job with his teaching oh yeah stuff. glenn is the person the i guess her person in charge of on the ggt board right now i guess you call it like it but yeah he's the one making sure it goes to the next game he's basically doing everything all the other technical stuff that i'm not doing right now to make this work derek's here too but yeah he's i'm not here for the technical stuff. yeah <laughs> we have yeah. too many too many computer science majors on the officer yeah. board. I'll have you know, Glenn and I are both not CS. Too many STEM majors on the officer board. You got board. me there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just said it because mine's computer engineering. Yeah. Very different. Yes. Very different. I, t I actually do talk about my major to Andrew, and then he's just like, I like say specific, because I say he, he knows the stuff well enough to know what I'm talking about, but he knows it well enough to also be like, yeah, I don't want to do that, or I don't want to know about that. <laughs> 
Sam has equal luck against Sam. I think Sam's gonna win. I agree. Sam. What if it's a draw? Did the draw? Oh, that's true. Do you think anybody's gonna get a draw or a win today? I don't think so. I mean, with Sam playing D four all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. gonna get a result. I mean, Blitz, isn't Blitz hard to get draws anyways? Yeah. It's funny, I don't draw, I draw a very low percentage of my classical games today. I think that's just because of how I play. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, my classical, I started playing, but I think I was, because when I first started playing classical, did I tell you, I was like, over over half my first eight games were draws. Really? <laughs> <laughs> my first classical games, yeah. It was an insane amount. I, I remember what it was. I think out of the first nine, five were draws or something like that. It was a big number, and now I don't think I've had... I've only had, like, one draw since then for, like, 20 games or something like that. But mm. It was just... I think I was just taking it way too... kind of seriously and not playing fun chess. I was just trying to play, like, solid chess, and eventually got to, like, four end games, and I was just like, I trade everything down. Yeah. Just, like, just not used to that sort of style. I've just, like, you know, it's just a normal game. It's just, like, a normal rapid game, just, like, more time. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Just like don't don't take it too seriously. So this sort of transitioned into a semi slav and Sam Sh or Shanklin started pushing his pawns up the board. Mm -hmm. And I think Sorry. Sam Kim made a mistake when he played C five, because now when Sam Shanklin plays D takes C five, he opens up the dark squared bishop to play yeah. against the king. It just always looks funny when it's like this. There's too much pressure here. I have to take one of the pawns. And he luckily relieves it, but Well, you know how the saying goes. The weaker player is the one who always relieves the tension. That's probably true. Well, I relieve tension a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have gone better though. Of like, that's probably true. Yeah. I think I, there was something about pawn tension. I just when I was around a thousand, like twelve hundred, I think I just could not. I could stand peace. Like if like if a bishop was pinning a knight, yeah. like I didn't automatically just auto trade. But something about like pawn tension, I just like. Couldn't stand Ooh, it. Bishop takes h7, wins the piece. Ooh, bishop takes h7, king h8, and then e4. Oh, and e4. It, yeah. Even though that unprotects the bishop on h7, if you then play king takes h7, then e takes d5 comes with check, and you win the c6 then. C what's, what, what, the c6? No, no. How are you winning the c6 then? Or bishop e4 wins it too. Oh, because he didn't take the piece. Yeah, well, I was saying here, mm -hmm. if e4... Mm -hmm. Then king takes h7 and e takes d5 comes with check, and then you win the c6 then. What's king? Oh, what? E4. Uh -huh. King takes h7. Oh, okay. E takes d5 comes with check. Discover check. Oh, oh, it blocks the queen. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see. E yeah, e4 blocks the queen check. I'm like, what check are you talking about? So I think Sam is winning a piece against Sam. <laughs> Yeah, that was the only thing um, with him doing the lecture. Sometimes when he was talking, like, he was talking very quick on some of the moves. I guess, like, just the lecture audience. But sometimes yeah. he was talking about moves, and I'm just like, uh, you're going to play <laughs> slow down to there. <laughs> it's just like, I'm not used to it. Uh, you need to draw some arrows, buddy. Like, <laughs> like, okay. Like, I got, usually I can get, like, the first three moves, but after that, I'm like, I, you know, I can't, I can't visualize that much. <laughs> yeah, I can do it kind of, but. H6 should just be easily winning here. Mm -hmm. Sam has a passed pawn. Does he? Oh, yeah. But because he did not talk about it in the lecture, I don't know what type of passed pawn. Uh, looks kind of connected. Uh oh, D7, fork. That's always a funny fork. Yeah. When you fork the rooks. <laughs> and the queens in the middle. Yeah. I've I've had that ha Have you ever had that happen to you? you they fork. Maybe like yeah. a, I've had that happen in like a blitz or something. I like how the computer's best line on the next move is rookie five and then D takes C8 equals bishop. <laughs> well, because they, you know why, right? Why? Because it uh doesn't want to give up. No, it doesn't want to give up a queen? Yeah. Because huh. your auto going to take it. So I think it promotes the least likely piece to take. Yeah. Um, it doesn't like to give up material like that. So it chooses the bishop's more objective. To... Well, congratulations really to Sam can. on winning. And condolences to Sam. I told you Sam would win. Next up is Eden Frisco. Do not know much about Eden. Mm -hmm. 
but we wish them the best of luck. Let's see if he's saved the wave for something. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta keep waving till someone comes back. <laughs> How long is it? Eight seconds? It's definitely been eight seconds by now. No! Oh! 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 <laughs> it looked like Sam was so close to me. I guess there's a delay, so now I can wait. So if people like wave on me, I can wave on them. That'd be funny. <laughs> this is what happened last time where everyone was looking up and I and I was by myself. I'm like, they're looking at me? Like Well, there was a good like thirty seconds where because you're not muted on Discord. Yeah. You were just coming through. You well, were you were giving live commentary and everyone I could hear it. Every it was through the speaker in the room? No, it was through the phone. Yeah, so just the people in the front, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, it's very quiet. The speaker's very quiet. I think their sound can technically come through, but it's very quiet yeah. when, when there's talking stuff. Another D4, a Queen's Gambit accepted with E3. I'm just watching the game on the video now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any coffee. I don't like coffee. Why do you have 164 notifications at chess.com? I think because I, I joined like a few clubs yeah. Like Hikaru or Gotham at some point, and I just haven't done anything, and then it just like adds up. See, look, okay, let's see. Yeah. Wait, I don't like anything. Yeah, see, it's all like Hikaru. It's just, it's just Hikaru, <laughs> like every notification. It's oh, just you get Hikaru. a separate notification for every new vote. <laughs> yeah. So I just, that's why there's so many. Yeah. I just haven't. 100% accuracy. Oh my. It's because book books. Yeah. Look at her go. We can safely say that so far, she has played better than anyone else. I mean, so far, yeah, yeah, she's on track to play better than anyone else. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, so oh wait, they can't. They see can't it, yeah. see it, but right now, black has ninety nine point six accuracy, and white is only ninety six point eight. His last move was only excellent. Yeah. So, she played e five, so she's doing well. 97 and then um you know knight g6 bishop g4 black's position is not bad here yeah. she is using a lot of time which could come to her in a way yeah you're gonna say something about the time something to do with biting oh. <laughs> 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 i want a bite to eat Exactly. You know what I'm solving that? Something to do with, um, that would bite you somewhere. A shark? A shark. What? Or no, kick you? Maybe it's kick. That would come back to kick you somewhere. I don't know. I, I'm confused. Like, <laughs> what, what type of thing would lead you to be confused about whether or not it would bite or kick you? Well, the, the following part. No, it has to do with the, a body part. I'm just not saying it for the stream for and to be funny. Yeah. Trying to be, what is it, the sat, not sat, where you say something inappropriate, but only if you actually get the joke or understand it's inappropriate. They do that in Pixar movies, I forgot what it's called. Well, if Eden plays Queen Adult H Adult jokes, whatever it's called. Yeah, if Eden plays Queen H4 here, she can say she was one move away from mating Sam Shanker. Mm, that's true. Which is technically true. I remember I, um, before Queen H2. Yeah, back in high school, there was someone that I think he was only like 1500, but you know, back then we thought he was super good. But um, I think he, I think at one point I like traded queens and I'm like, ha, I traded queens against this guy. Or I like, I took this guy's queen, even though we just traded. And I'm like, look at me go. <laughs> <laughs> just like, that's a win for me. Yeah. Uh, well, Eden played knight h2, which is an interesting move. I think the idea is if white plays like rook e1, then she might want to do like knight f3 check or bishop takes h3. Can you play like e5 here? Yeah, that's what Sam played, which is simplest, right? Because yeah. you just Cut kill, off the bishop, you yeah. kill all, all the counterplay. Yeah. And but you get... still, you get you take the rook. It's not awful, right? You take the rook for the two pieces, right? Yeah, yeah but white's position is just really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, yeah, at that point you have zero development, <laughs> except a castle. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're good. All I care about is that we don't leak anything. Is there... <laughs> I probably leak so much, not a lot, but like, 
the game even really checks. But there's sometimes when I'm like, like, uh, because this part of the screen right here, if you just put something over, it would leak it. Yeah. Right. So that's why I have it here. This part is reserved. But um, just sometimes when I open up a new tab, like I don't think I've ever really leaked anything important. But just like maybe like half a second, I leaked my e my like email stuff, yeah. things like that. Yeah. So I think Sam is up a couple pieces here, so you should finish the game quickly. But Eden played a good game. E5 was a very good move in the opening. Let's see what the... Oh, 80% now. Well, more or less, this knight g4, knight h2 idea lost her the game, but mm -hmm. she played well before that. Lots of board glitching. Mm -hmm. Oh, again, with that one open. I feel like I know the names of openings. I feel like I know the names of many fewer openings than most masters do. You know less opening names? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like through we like ask you about opening names. Oh. Uh, Did we go ask them? I think their thing just shut off. All right. <laughs> uh, let me go text him. Okay. Yeah, because I think it looks like he left. Well, in this position here, rook e7 is a good move because black cannot take the bishop on d5 because of rook e8. And otherwise, if I do act Glenn, will he be able to read it? Here, let me just text Andrew. Let me tell him. You can add Glenn and also add Sam. I'll just tell Andrew. And make sure they deafen on Discord, or we should mute on Discord in this call. Um, let's see. Here, let's try to get the next game up just. Yeah, so the next challenger is Ryan Thomas, who is an elementary schooler at the Oak Hall School. I think he's like a 1400 player. Uh, Sam, the video, the phone video stopped working. If you guys can, I told. An I think Andrew's going to tell them after this game. Okay. Well, I think Sam is watching the stream as well. Yeah. His phone died. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's. I figured it was something like that. Yeah. Um, is there is the game going on? Oh, they might be. They might be doing it because they didn't start the next round. Let's see. Play my daily game again. <laughs> it's Andrew, Andrew Kennedy. Kennedy. All right. Oh yes, this was my last game. Hmm. So using what Sam taught us. <laughs> If you take on e6, and then f takes e6, mm -hmm. and then you play d4, you prevent the forwardmost doubled pawn from being protected. And therefore, it will be a weakness. Mm. What's up again? I was looking at this. Bishop e6. Bishop e6. f takes e6, then d4 prevents e5. And then e6 will be the forwardmost doubled pawn, and it won't be protected mm. by another pawn. And I don't really like this bishop. Sounds good. Wow, you confirmed the moves for daily games. I just play them. Yeah. Well, sometimes, I only have three going on. Yeah. Sometimes I mouse slip in daily games. <laughs> and then I tell my opponents and oh, they're very confused. Yeah. Oh, yes, this game. Aren't you just winning here? No, yeah, he just, he like just blundered a this move here. He just like I pushed and he just clipped. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? It's <laughs> <laughs> like I just win a piece. Yeah, yeah I'm just winning here against Trey. Uh, I don't know, just simplify. Taking castle sounds good. Don't care about bishop takes. Well, takes on castles on bishop h6. Yeah. Oh, um, but I could even push here. Uh, I guess it's still. 
Just Takes to make is, things complicated. Yeah. Takes is okay. Yes, that was your pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm cheating at this point. Alright. Oh, this is the this is the interesting end game that I was just out of peace and I just like blundered one because I didn't know what was happening. So this here. I'm just like, oh, pawn, and then I just saw I lost a piece. So like, oh. <laughs> and then now it's just been a really long end game. I'm not sure what's going on. Well, now you're lost. What? I'm not lost, lost. Look, I'm up. A, look, I have a passer. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a lost. Probably, but it's drawn. Okay, well, now he plays that. Well, you needed to put your pawns on white squares. Because then you might have had a chance. Um, let's see. They're not letting me know. Andrew's in the call, but he's not doing anything. <laughs> Does he even have access to the discussion call? Yeah, I added him to it. Let's see. Let's play this one. Are you playing a bullet game? If you want to. On my account? Trackpad. Oh, yeah, if you want to. Um, yeah, just do unrated. Yeah, you can do rated. On my account? It's one minute on a trackpad, you know? Yeah. Well, this is pretty good. <laughs> You're doing something. Oops. Is this the Dutch? Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to play the Dutch. Playing someone from Portugal. <laughs> this guy's doing pretty good. Yeah. He didn't blunder me. Also, right they away. have the camera ready. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> uh, I will have to fix it. So after this, I can go fix the stream. Are they just watching? They're probably just watching me play. They're watching you play on my account. Oh. It's like now confirmed that we're cheating too. <laughs> we have video evidence. Yeah, I don't even know if I want you to win or lose. We have video evidence that Nathan's account should be closed. Yeah, I know. I feel like one game's fine. I'm definitely just a lot worse here. Yeah. I'll flag it. I feel like they're getting annoyed. I dropped my D6. <laughs> They're like, what are you trying? Oh yeah, didn't we talk about bullet? <laughs> we talked about bullet. It's like, oh yes, in the thing. By the way, I almost dropped a move. Yeah, they have a draw, right? Yeah. Not anymore. No. Oh. oh, they're getting mate instead. Is it mate? Yeah, yeah it is. Wow. Yeah. Officially cheating. <laughs> He's, now he knows my rating. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to this. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, I have to get the link back. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do this. Alright. Oh, Glenn wants to see if the cameras are working, so you should turn on the camera on the stream. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I have to do it like this. Put that in here. I have to edit it somewhere here. I don't want my pawns. I should not have that. I have to go like this. Alright. What? What? They're going. <laughs> Where are they going? Alright, this is fine. Oh, this is Ryan Thomas. Henry Thomas. Where we have another semi slog. A lot of people trying to play solid openings and then mixing up moves. Oh, look, now it's right here. Um, can I go back? What is this opening called? I have no idea. Queen's Gambit declined semi turn. I mean, oh, that's wrong. What? You have to like wave your hand a bit. Ugh. 
I don't mind going out tonight. Yeah, it's fine. Before it was bad. I had the blinds closed, but now it's okay with the light. Yeah. It's good enough. Mm. Now it's actually better. Now they're actually... It was a lower resolution. It was fine. Someone says I don't like this quick. Are they getting mad at me? No, you got to take me. Where are you getting the read? <laughs> so I think Sand is really trying to demonstrate the uh, lessons from his book. And the coins of Ponta. So he's going to create a pass pawn, and then he's going to attack the king. True. Uh -huh. By playing, like, what, knight g5, somehow mate, get a mating threat. Yeah. That works more, it probably works in, like, a middle game, end game, though. When you have enough pieces, it's hard to, like, attack the king and threaten the threat, probably. Yeah. But also here, black's pieces are mostly undeveloped on the queen side. Yeah. Yeah, like, their rook can't get in. Knights. Oh, the knight's defending this side. Oh, shit. Ryan going into a long push. Yeah. Someone's also filming the game. Yeah. I think right. even something like knight a6 here is fine. Or uh, it's the computer's not. Awesome. But like knight a6, the knight's going to go to c5. Just to get pieces out, now yeah. your rook's out. And yeah, even if like e takes, uh, I mean d takes e6, you have to play f takes e6, but that's fine. Because the knight will go to c5. Yeah, that's a good move. And like black is doing okay here. White has a more active position. Oh, I don't believe that. <laughs> Says they have a hundred percent accuracy. What? Maybe. Seeing blacks played a hundred percent accurately. He's doing okay. Besides, he's got a flag. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you can tell people I flagged in an equal position. I wouldn't get a draw. Yeah, it is more noble to lose to flag because then you can blame it being blitz. You yeah. can blame the format. Do I see your engine lines? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like having to think about myself. Yeah. No, it was like that. Did I tell you? It's because um, cause you have to have a premium account to see the engine lines when you're streaming stuff. So I've been streaming on my account, which means that I can't see the engine lines, only the eval. Yeah. So I've been like having to actually figure out why it's <laughs> <laughs> Trying to like predict stuff. You just can like log a, into the chess club. Like yeah, I saw the chess club has like a permanent. Um, permanent. Yeah, so I might do that. So I don't think Ryan should take the e4 pawn here. Because knight e6 will be pretty devastating. So just queen e7 defending the pawn takes care. He's doing well. He's going to flag though. I think he could flag. Yeah. But he played well. He played well. This is probably the least imbalance that someone's lost. Yeah. Point four. Yeah. He played 15 good moves. And it's just the clock's fault. I think Trey's doing some fun stuff because I saw a bunch of people raising their hands. All right, who's next? Next is Grace. Grace is, I think, a 1600 player. Well, Trey's also the one in charge of who's going next, right? Yeah. I wanted to see a bond cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Andrew, or who is it? Peyton. I wonder if Peyton told him, you're obligated to not play D4 anymore. Play the, what's the hippo? What is the hippo? Just, I just know it's a. I know it's an actual. I think it involves like just pushing all your pawns to the sixth ring. 
Except I for saw, where you're casting. Okay. I saw an Eric Rosen video that was very funny like that. Where um he played against a, some random person where they played, you know, like um like A four, A five, B four, B five, something like that, where they kept uh, going down the row and eventually it got to a point where like there was actually it because um just because it was so unbalanced like that, it was like every move it was like plus two, minus two kind of thing. <laughs> Um, at one point, the person playing was like, act like stop the trend and like actually took the plus two or plus three position. <laughs> He's like, "What? You can't do that!" And then he looked back and it was just like he looked at the database of how many people, and some people broke the chain and actually like started playing the game. You know, you just like was stop that doing a winning position to try to actually beat a iron. It's like, oh, that's not in the spirit of it. Well, if you do a four, a five, b four, b five, all the way across the board, it's called the Great Wall of China. Oh, it is. They might have done. They might have started in the middle, like e four. Um, it might have been like e four, e five, d four, d five, and they might have done like then the c pawn in there. I forgot the order they did it in, but they were just like, no, I don't. I remember most of my games when I was really young, like fifth grade, and I didn't know anything. That that's how our games work. Uh, they like, push all the pawns up, and then, <laughs> and then start trading, and that's how we would start. Yeah. Yeah, Too many semi slaws. Come on, guys. I'm not a fan of the semi slaw. So this is the hippo structure, I guess. Oh, there's a twenty four hundred from Jacksonville who plays that every game. So the hippo doesn't look terrible. You basically push a bunch of your pawns up one. You push every pawn up one except the f and c pawn. And it's blocked. And then you fianchetto both sides and you move for knights to D and E7. I thought it'd be worse. Uh oh, she lost a piece. Oh no. A fork. Oh no, the queen's trapped. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, my queen. Maybe you can trick him. Ah, there you go. You tricked him. Oh. No, you t you put him in check first. He doesn't have even it. Yeah, you can't even check with him. I was thinking if you had a uh, if you already played c five, you could just trade the bishop. Hmm. Actually, well then it's not trapped. Actually, you know what we should have done? All comers blitz challenge, but also guess the elo. Sam has to guess the elo after every game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can we can start that. <laughs> I just have to go down. Well, I think black has good winning chances here. The king is very safe, yeah. Mm -hmm. The rook on c8, very awkward. I feel like the stream is super laggy. Maybe that's why other people are doing it. Anyway, we have all the footage though. The footage should be fine. <laughs> I just didn't get the first um game that we played. I didn't really get the footage for that one. Besides that. Well, the, yeah, the game. first game was like nothing was really set up as it should should be, but that guy brought his own. Oh, what is camera. this? Wait, what? Well, you win a pawn and then you take on b seven. Seven. Or Desperado. Well, you win a pawn in this interaction. Like, if you just move the bishop to c2. Oh, yeah. They're going to move the bishop. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why I. Did you ever have a, a thing like that where you tried to. Like, that move, you tried to make the complicated more position and fancy? Like, I used to always play, like, fancy moves that like best case scenario it was just like even material but worst case scenario i would just lose a piece <laughs> and eventually i just said no it's not worth doing fancy moves for that it's like a i think it's like that in poker too the the fancy play syndrome <laughs> where you're just like oh i want to do so you try to make it really complicated and, like you're trying to be like super common just like just oh, play yeah. normal stuff don't well that's that's how i lose like i lose a lot of games to slightly lower rated players like that yeah because, like, they'll play white against me, and they'll go into a French exchange or something boring like that. And I'll, I'll just get so bored that I, like, try to create something, and then I just lose. Mm -hmm. 
Like, actually, if you're slightly lower rated than me and you want to be me, one of the best strategies is to play something very dry and quiet. I'll play the London. Uh, I have something interesting that makes that happen. I'll play the exchange French. Yeah, so that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Rook takes f7 here. Should be mate very shortly. So we have a Smothers mate on the board. Really? Yeah. I'm watching the video. Oh, okay. And this DGT thing is very laggy. Yeah. I feel like you could make a better DGT. I think I could. That would be my senior project. Yeah. I could. Well, I probably could. That might be more. The problem is, like, it's one of those things where you actually start looking at it and you're just like, actually, it's a lot of work. Oh, uh, I'm sure it's a lot of work. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, is that a smothered? Do you consider that a smothered mate? I would say not. I'd say they have to have a piece here for it to be smothered. Yeah. I guess you're technically correct. I think it's. There was one. I saw um, a chess bra video where they bet the guy and they said, I'll give you a certain amount of money if you get a smothered mate. And then, like, against someone, you know. They, against any player above a thousand, if you get a smothered mate in a random game, mm. and they were just trying, they before they were trying to define what the smothered mate is, because it's like, does this count? It's just like, uh, does that have to be with the knight? And she's like, is that any knight mate at that point? No, it's <laughs> like very, because this is just a knight mate essentially, right? That's true. Like any knight mate is, yeah. Um, so it's very, it's, it got very technical where they're just like, what's the smothered mate exactly? Yeah. All right, next up is Sophie Lee. And it really doesn't matter. Sophie is, I think, the highest rated girl in her age group in the nation. Really? Yeah. Oh. I think she's like 1800 US now. I don't know about the nation. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, I don't know if I want to say this, but it was very funny when she was walking in. <laughs> Why? But she was, she seemed a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I don't know, she was just... I think she was excited or something. Or, yeah. I don't know. I think she, I don't know, she seems excited or something. Yeah. Well, her mom's taking a video of the game. Yeah. I'll have you know. Yeah. Yeah. Glenn's doing a great job with the DGT. Yeah, he's not. I, he probably, I'm assuming he has to manually sit, go to the next game. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I had a pop up OBS disconnect and like, oh, that's fine. We have all the footage. So we have... Oh, e4? Wait, what? Oh, are we going to have another semi slav? Oh, no. We're Did they play e4? No, d4. I think this is like a Tarash exchange. Oh, it is. D4. Of some sort. Oh, I got confused. I thought they played because I saw the d pawn and c pawn. I thought it was the e and d pawn. Because yeah. I saw the play the pawn to the left. I was like, oh. You're offline. <laughs> Yeah, I think the... How many more days? Oh, wait, it's April already. I don't think we streamed enough days. I mean, all we have to do is just try one month and <laughs> we can get affiliate. I don't think affiliate is that useful anyways. Um, There's some basic stuff. It's more of like, I don't think it hurts us at all. Yeah. Is the main thing. Um, We can do... Oh, now we have six. It just went down to zero and we're... All right, we're back online. I don't think the chat got it. B4 is an interesting move. Obviously, if bishop takes, queen c6 wins the rook. Yeah, the main thing, we get to put emotes in if we want. Um, we get to do Twitch Prime stuff. I think we get to do polls and things like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we get the raid. I don't know if we can raid people. We probably can raid people. I don't know how to do it. But apparently in this position, after B4, after B4, Sophie needed to play bishop d4. Okay, well. <laughs> it's watching it there too. It's like, what? I don't think this DGT board stuff works well for a live flip. Yeah. Classical, it's fine. Yeah. It's just, blitz is like, it actually glitches so much. Yeah, I'll try to make. I'll try to figure out how to make one. Yeah. 
I've actually been thinking about it a bit of just like how like more conceptually how you would go about doing it. Makes sense. Like you're not going into the details, but it'd be like how much work would this be and like what's the general strategy and plan I would have to do to it? Yeah. And what do I need and stuff like that? Yeah. Cause a bunch of that stuff I've actually talked about. Ways to do stuff like that in my class. Mm -hmm. Classes. Well, Sophie is down a rook here. We haven't had any close games yet. Rook, schmuck. Yeah. Yeah, I guess everyone's just blundered a piece, right? Yeah. What's been the closest game so far? Ryan's game was close, but he just lost on time. Mm -hmm. Aiden survived for a while. Mm -hmm. Abelardo survived for a while. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. When have the games have been that close? That is a pass pawn. I learned that this morning. Mm -hmm. Pass pawns are good. Yeah. But really what you want to do is threaten the promotion and the king at the, the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Could be such a mean math problem. <laughs> <laughs> or throwing both, not just one. <laughs> both. Oh, is that a pin? Can you win the knight? I don't know if this is the actual position to be fair. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> watching watching our stream yeah. and how the board goes is very interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean the knights yeah. I'm just like, well the knight's hanging there, but I don't know if it's actually actually hanging. <laughs> so well they're finished. Well, that's the game. Next up is Arav Patel. If I remember correctly, Arav is like 2,000 rated USEM. So he should be able to give Sam a good game if he plays well. Fourteen. Why do all of these say it hap it's happening on March 26th? Uh, maybe that's when they set up the thing. Maybe that's when Glenn got it approved or something. Or maybe just filled out the form. I mean, it's still working, so who cares? Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wake up. I was actually a zombie this morning. Did I, I lost money playing poker last night, too. That was rough. Oh. Tragic. Did you admit to unsanctioned gambling in the state? It's of not illegal. <laughs> I'm like 90% sure it's not illegal. 90%? <laughs> I mean, no, like, it was on Hikaru's stream. He was, like, advertising it. For like saying you can, he played it in Florida. Like, um, I there might it might be some loophole sort of thing. I think what it is, it's like the company there is unregulated in the U.S. So like technically they could take all your money and run, and you can't do anything unless you went to like Europe to go claim it. Um, so it's like there's no guarantee sort of so there's risk, but it's not like illegal. I think is how it is. Um, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, it was tragic. Half of it was I lost it from just like bad coolers of just like they had like I had a good hand, they just happened to have a better hand and I just like three or four hands in a row, they just have I had a good one and they had just something better and I couldn't do much. And then the rest were me being tilted about that and also <laughs> also like the same situations where they had something slightly better where instead of me like, you know, folding and get out because I was like also tilted. So it was a bit of both. So I lost like ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't that bad, but it's still like up. I was actually up. Before that, I was actually up. So. Mm -hmm. I'm still up. Still up. We sort of transitioned into a semi slav here. Mm -hmm. Lots of semi slavs today. I should play poker on the, on the Gator Chess Club. I should stream it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually would. <laughs> and they got some sponsorship money for that. Nah, not really though. That's like that's like uh they they do have affiliate programs like chess.com. There's just way more sites than chess. Like chess there's only what two, maybe three sites. Yeah. Poker there's like fifteen ish maybe if you're going. Half of them you can't even do in the US too. Or at least in Florida. Um so there's only like two or three big ones in Florida. So. Night A three, that's an interesting board. Is that does the computer like it? It's the idea to not go to really. C where are you rerouting it to? To B like are you going to c2 i guess I, I am a little bit confused by that i wonder 
like, I guess in theory, if you had a lot of moves, like knight c2, knight b4, knight d3, knight e5. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that's too slow. But the computer is, like, okay with it. Yeah, I mean, it's... Maybe you're just waiting for your opponent to mess up. <laughs> and, like, do something committal like this. I don't know if that if 94 is committal, but yeah. Well, waiting for your opponent to mess up is generally a good play. Mm -hmm. I would say it works all the way up until, like... That's what I'm going to do against... That's what I'm going to... That's what I'll do against you. I'll just get in a very dry position and start, like, playing random moves and wait for you to play a pawn move, which you can't undo. Oh. That was what I learned from Lesson 1. Yeah. You cannot undo pawn moves. So what I learned from the lecture is that my opening as white is just superior. Yeah, Sam's always um white for the time. Yeah. What I learned from the lecture is my, my white opening is just the best. Because I play knight of three. I don't commit any <laughs> pawn moves on the first move. Yeah, it's too committal. I mean, e4, I thought... too committal. d4, too committal. c4, yeah. too committal. Mm -hmm. Well, there's still... I guess the whole point is that... Um, yeah, I guess... Well, I mean, probably knight f3 is not even bad, though, because it just transposes into, like... If you just play e4, it just transposes, you know, that every single opening. Yeah. Uh, I think Ara is playing very well for in this game. Like, he's he's got a slightly worse position. But I think if he keeps playing quickly, he should be able to survive for a while. He should play e5 now, though, to try and free his light squared bishop. Which he does. Good move by a row. Knight, knight c2, oh, knight c2, knight c3. Knight c2, knight c3. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, did you mean knight c... Oh, one knight c3. He means knight yeah, c3 yeah. on the first move. Knight c3 first. What about knight a3? Because it's even less Isn't committal. is that the sodium attack? I don't know what it's called. That sounds about No, right. it's a4. Yeah, a4, yeah. Yeah, a4 is the sodium attack. Knight a3 is even less committal, because you leave <laughs> yeah. more central pawn options open. No, you have more places to put the knight after. You know what's even better? UD, UTD Chess Club. UT Dallas. A raid from them? Oh, they're raiding with a party of 21. Oh, hey. my. Thanks. Hey, UT Dallas. And Joe's here, too. Everyone's here. Hey, Joe. We are streaming a All Comers Blitz Challenge event with Grandmaster Sam Shanklin, 2018 US Champion, Super Grandmaster. He's taking on... There's 20 like, to 25 challengers in a series of 3 plus 2 blitz games. Yeah, let's check what game we're on right now. I think we're we're on game number 14, so we still have about an hour-ish left, maybe? Yeah. UT Dallas just beat U Chicago in overtime for 1,000. Crazy. Wait, it's not the finals or anything, right? So what is the thousand? Is that like guaranteed? Is a thousand? Yeah, I think so. Because I think oh, the finals okay. are next. Right? Yeah. So Joe, the the thousand would be like guaranteed money, right? I'm assuming. Because technically, yeah, if you're playing, like technically, if it's a match between first and second place, and say first place gets like a thousand dollars, second place gets five hundred dollars, and technically that match is a five hundred dollar match because they already already have five hundred locked in. Yeah. So you're playing for the next five hundred. Oh, fourth, oh, yeah, fourth place. Oh, yeah. Oh, so today was just the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because last week was the first round of the playoffs. You streamed that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Rob's doing all right. Yeah. That actually is. I only know that principle really hard. Like, really. Uh oh, Arav dropped his queen. But I know that principle really hard for from poker because it actually really matters. Because <laughs> um, your pay your pay structure is like all you're playing for in tournaments. Yeah. Arav was doing very well this game, and then he dropped his queen, and he dropped me. Uh, well, that but happens. he was doing very well for thirty minutes. Yeah. What's the Let's accuracy? go, Shanklin. This might have been our closest game. Yeah, I think Arav played very well. If he mm -hmm. hadn't taken on D six. Oh yeah, his wait, his um, ninety four percent ac or ninety three percent accuracy. Yeah. I think this was our best game. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so believe it or not, Sam has actually won every game. I do believe it. No, but he's saying, like, let's go Shanklin, and I'm just like, oh, here we go. Did you know that the next person coming up is a top 100 hyper bullet <laughs> chess player? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, the next player is Adam Fernandez. He's insanely good at hyper bullet. He is very good at hyper bullet. But we will see whether or not that translates to over the board. He's also, what, like an 1800 points player. Yeah. So he's, he's still not bad. Well, he has a tendency to be completely lost out of the opening and then somehow Play rescue fast. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that Hikaru? Well, not that Hikaru loses a lot. But, yeah. Yeah. but his defense is, like, people say is really high. Holding so on to everything. Sam and Adam are just waiting to get started. Waiting on us. Probably waiting on Glenn. Glenn has to do most of the heavy lifting today, and then quite literally, we will do heavy lifting tomorrow. Windboards. Oh, <laughs> I was just like, what's a heavy thing for me? I mean, I understood the reference, but I'm just like, what are we lifting? All right, here we go. If any of the UT Dallas people buy a plane ticket to Gainesville right now, I will give you a free spot in tomorrow's Simul against Sam Shank. Fifty dollar retail value. If you what? If they come to buy a plane ticket to Gainesville. Yeah, you have to send us the receipt though. Send it to at gatorchess at gmail dot com or something. <laughs> We'll give you a free entry to Simul. Actually, are we still doing the... Oh, we did still kind of just read the $20 for non-UF. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, were, were we making that kind of public, or is that still... Oh, for, like, other college students? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> technically, you are, you could as a joke. Yeah, yeah, if you are a college student who wants to play in tomorrow's Simul, you can do so for $20. Yeah, we opened up the Simul. So it's $50 for everyone, and then it's $20 for college students. We open it up to all college students now, just not just our club. Yeah. Well, Adam is not lost straight out of the open. Let's go, Adam. Yes. That's all that matters. Very bullet looking at his opening. Very uh <laughs> He's down on the clock. Oh no. Adam probably awesome. has already used more time in this game than he uses in his average Lee chess game. <laughs> Look at this. A six, small move. You don't even play need to play A five. That takes longer to play the move. I like it. Yeah, and A6 is very close to the clock. Ooh, for true. Black. Yeah. Should you castle queenside now? <laughs> <laughs> Just so you get... See, there's stuff like that. Like, no one really talks about that. Yeah. I'm good friends with UCF Chess Club president. Oh. How do you guys organize games? You know the UCF Chess Club president? I don't know if we do. Yeah, I don't even know if we do. Uh, we had to, like, we also had to, uh, we had to sign a contract for him. We were technically, um, as, like, an honorarium board, right? Yeah, we got, we got a lot of funding. Yeah, we have funding for him to come. He's not doing it. He's not just coming for fun. Yeah. <laughs> so. We got the university to pay for it. Yeah. This looks moderately similar to Adam's game. Um, but I mean, most of the time, if you just email someone and say like, hey, what would you be willing to do? And it's like, that's, you know, the worst thing they do is just ignore you or say no. Yeah. Basically what we did with yeah. a few people. Yeah. Oh, a Connect 5. Oh my, look at, I missed it. I actually played a game of Connect 4 yesterday. Like oh. actual on the board Connect 4? Or on, on, no, on Wednesday I played a game of Connect 4. The actual board game? Yeah, you know Nax Halal Food next to Chipotle on University? Mm -hmm, probably not. Well, they have a physical, like, life-size Connect 4 in their thing, and I beat somebody in Connect 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know where you're from, but our university, most universities do funding in SG, student government funding different, so I know even for Florida schools, they all do it differently because we talk to them. I know our school is very um, easy to get funding if you know what you're doing. Um, so it's a lot, ours is just more competitive, but it's like, if you're actually competitive and do the work, then it's very easy to get funding for other schools. It's, you know, 
It just depends on what it is. Yeah. The R's we are putting in the work in. And we know the the what we need to do to get funding to. So clearly in this position, Sam should play G4 mm -hmm. to attack on the king side because he has a pass pawn. And he should attack That's the king. That's true. Ooh, they play G4 first. I was about to say if he runs his king. Yeah. Honestly, isn't Adam's doing okay? Right? Adam's doing all right. Like this is what you need to get against higher rated players. You need to be attacking. Give them a chance to make a mistake. You don't want to play the semi slot. Yeah, I, I, we don't really know what's. I don't really know what's going on at UCF. I know people that go to UCF. Are you are you from UCF or um, or do you go to UCF? Because you seem to be specifically talking about UCF a lot. <laughs> oh, the queen's coming in. Oh my. I want to go downstairs and get a cookie. <laughs> sure. They gave us a lot of cookies. We got a we got Subway for lunch and we got a like catering one and they had a whole box of subs and then the same size box for cookies. I think it was like 36 cookies. It was a lot of cookies. It was like we had more cookies than um subs. By like uh by like quantity almost volume too. Oh, you see if I'm not nice. Adam's position is, like, he's doing all right here, but Sam's king is very safe on e2 because it's very hard to dislodge the f2 bishop. Like, you can win the h2 pawn. Is it? The computer says that Sam's winning just because of the a pawn, probably. Yeah, more or less. Ooh. Ooh, oh, h4. Oh. The, the leg g4 is a very hard move to find. Is it to just break everything open, then you can play, like, queen g4 after they take? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, knight takes e4. I like that move. You gotta go for it. Because Sam can't... Whoa, f3? Whoa. f3? f3? Oh my, wait, he's winning! He's winning! <laughs> he's winning! He's winning! He's winning! Bishop takes d2? I mean, it's not... Three seconds! It's not wait, easy. Three seconds! It's still not easy, because knight takes c7 is threatened. Wait, right, hold up. It's, it's not easy. Yeah. And Adam, Go Adam needs to make a move. Did he flag? He might have flagged. He needs to make a move. I don't know if he flagged or not. It says he flagged, but I don't... <laughs> oh, no! Well, I think that deserves a round of applause from us as well. Great job from Adam. He flagged I mean, when, you play higher rated, when you play higher-rated players, you have to go for it. You have to attack. Yeah. You never know what might happen. And yeah. All right. Adam should get a prize. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Glenn marked it as Adam won? Whoa, I think he won. Did he win? Oh, did he win? Did he resign? Let's text Glenn. Did he win? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he changed it. Okay. Sam won. Yeah, I figured he flagged, right? Yeah. There are a lot of standards. That was a very nice game from Adam. The opponent flag. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, we figure we're just making sure because just with the DGT, we're just like making sure. Yeah, because like 94, <laughs> very tricky move. I mean, uh, White should just move the queen. It, it should work out well for White, but. Yeah. That takes the discovered check. Mm -hmm. But Sam has been playing a lot of Blitz games in a row, so he's. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think you have a higher chance just because you're kind of fresh. Well, I might not go. Depends on how quickly these games. Yeah. Because we still have these five, and we still have seven games to go. Yeah. yeah. Um, what are they waiting on? Sure. I don't know. No, no, no. They discussing the game? <laughs> <laughs> you could say you were in a winning position against a GM on move like 30 or something. Against Pretty the super late. grand master. True. Insane. Well, that was an exciting game. 
Mm-hmm. I think we have to say that's the best game we've seen so far. <laughs> yeah. No, because he wasn't even, like, super lost, right? Like, it wasn't like he ever really blundered. It was just kind of like he, him slowly getting outplayed, you know? And then Sam obviously blundered. Well, he was pretty lost. Well, I know, but it wasn't like it wasn't like a whole piece. It was like, you know, strategically and positionally kind of lost. It wasn't like he... Yeah. Makes sense. Next up, we have Alec. Alec is around 1,800 U.S. Yeah. There's Peyton. There's Peyton doing his... <laughs> Sam guessed 2,350 for the ELO. Is he guessing people's ELO? <laughs> Well, you could say my hyper bullet's like twenty three. No, his hyper bullet's I don't know, probably twenty eight hundred. I mm. hope it. <laughs> There's a weird sound in the room. Um, is this the game? No, no, it should be. It should be. It should be this one. Well, this one is still marked as Adam winning. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, the game's not going. That's fine. Want to refresh the page? You mentioned it, so we decided to implement it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, can I mention other things that you implement? Yeah, I think they need to s- implement no D4. Yeah, no D4, also no semi-slav. Yeah. What if it's like C4 and then D4? <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, because then C4, black and white, E5. Yeah, we might have to go to the game. But yeah. Um, someone's watching. Let let them know that the game's not coming up to round seventeen. Yeah. After this game's over. Oh, we can watch on this live feed. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Do they have books under? Why do they have books under the board? To balance it. <laughs> is it wobbly? <laughs> is it wobbly? I think the table is even. Um, well, they have two tables together. Is probably it. That's my monitor in my room. I have my like toolkit, propping up the other monitors, so then they're both level because they're two different um, types of monitors, you know. Well, according to Chess.com, the DGT is still indicating Adam as having won, so you can point it out and be like, "That's all that matters." Well, the position looks. Better for white, but not super better. <laughs> Round 16? Oh, oh, what? Wait, then click on round 15? 15? Oh. Did I click? I didn't click. I don't think I clicked the wrong one. All right. Here, we'll go back. Round 16. We'll go through the game real quick. Here. Very standard. This is why I don't like D4. Oh, find it really quick. All right, good pot. All right, so Sam's one of four. Can you guys also hear the stream? I don't think you guys can, but. Well, I think Sam is just listening to this. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's a few people in the room that are listening to it, yeah. I see Isaiah reading his book in the front row right there. Mm-hmm. It's funny looking at all the. They don't even know we're watching the audience right now. Yep. People playing on their phones is disgusting. I was playing on my phone. That's true. I was playing on my phone. No, I was doing it for logistical purposes. I'll have it. Besides the time that you played a. Give me advice for a daily game and play the board game. Mm. <laughs> um, that's okay. I feel like if you get carried for one game, it's okay. Because in theory, it's like, like I should play, if I play like 10 games, my rating will probably be where it should be. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. It's like one game is fine. Like if it's over, if it's over 50 points, I would say then it's like that. That's where it gets pretty good. I think one is like it might technically against be against the rules, but I don't think they're gonna be like a ban. <laughs> I said it was for content, and they'll be like, "Oh, uh, for content." Well, yeah. we'll refund your content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, they should take the points from you. You were the one. I said I was saying on record. Why would they take the points from me? Because I said on record, I did not. I was saying hey, you should play it on radio. You're like, no, it'll be fine. Because you're you'll be losing the points. You'll be banned. I think the two bishops here are too strong. Sam is threatening g5. How do you get the yeah. other bishop out? Huh? Just in general. How do you get the bishop on d2 out of there? Well, you don't need to. g5 will win a piece here. Because the f6 knight has to move, and uh, then the d7 knight will be undefended. Unless you put him in check. And he doesn't see that he can't take... Yeah. He didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I really want to go back and get a cookie. <laughs> Alec is shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pass pawn. You know what that means. Oh, oh no. a knight on G8. Oh, resign. All right, well, good try by Alec. Next up is Henry Thomas. Maybe board 17 was just bugged. Yeah. Next up is Henry Thomas. I think he's around 1400. Elementary schooler at Oak Hall School. And then we have David. Oh, my. David's next. <laughs> Our most overrated player in the club. That actually has been doing pretty well. All jokes aside, he's maintained his high rating more than most people thought he would. He is the only person I know whose USCF rating is higher than his chess.com portfolio. <laughs> Actually, mine's pretty close. Mine's within 100. Because my blitz is awful. My, my rapid's like 200 higher, so it's my blitz is really misleading. Are we on the right game? We should be on 17. It should be. It might be a little bit buggy, 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 buggy. He's lost. Where's the other game? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. C seventeen. It's not this one. Yeah. See, it is standing. <laughs> <laughs> the standing is a uh, sixteen and O or sixteen point one. Sam Jenko. Who'd have thought? Um. About 16. Which gets? Oh, it counted as both 17 and 16. Well, we should probably stay on 17 then. Yeah. I think 17. Hopefully, update. I think they need to restart 17. Hmm. Sure, I'll let, I'll let Glenn know real quick. DGT is very finicky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chess doc. Glenn says chess.com broke this round. Yeah. Well, what opening is this? You predicted one win for everyone total. Adam was winning, to be fair. Refresh the page. Mm -hmm. You've gotten two more notifications on Trust.com. <laughs> Three can check. <laughs> I think it does max out at 200, though. I forgot why. They just set up a way if it's over 200, it just locks that up. Yeah, our game, the game is not showing up for us. Yeah. And weirdly enough, but it's weird too, because look at the order too. It says 17, and then it's like 8, 9. It's like counting it. It looks like Sam won the queen for a rook. Yeah, where'd all the other games go? We we don't have anything past game seventeen. Oh, they're down here. They're just not up. They're just not up here. Oh, there we go. Oh, what? Oh, I guess it's working now. Uh, let's look at the game. This is an interesting game. I played him, I'd say, can you not play D4? <laughs> and he's going to be like, no. He's <laughs> like, oh, okay. 
Ah, uh, bishop takes e6. Mm -hmm. Actually, pawn. You can lose the queen. You just, I mean, white's position is pretty good. Yeah, but you can't defend against the fork and oh, defend against the fork. effects of the discovered attack at the same time. Yeah, and you almost have back rank problems too, it seems like. I think rook e8 is a good move for. Uh, he does play it. I think rook e8 was the only move there. but. And then knight d6, probably? Well, knight d6, rook takes e6. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. So rook g. Or no, knight g5, I guess. Well, I think just move the bishop back on the long diagonal. So oh, yeah, you can just. Yeah, you can just play slow. Um, or you can play like rook. I don't know. Yeah, move it back, but then rook d one eventually, and then you can kind of set up some sort of a ideal square. Mm -hmm. um. Yeah, bishop b three, and then what a five. Well, now you play what king e king, king f eight. eight makes sense. But right? then knight d six, rook e seven, knight takes b seven, rook takes b seven, and bishop d five. Oh, that's oh. what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny with um when we were watching the bullet games with Andrew, there was like one little very very basic where you know you move a piece like three times instead of a mating threat. Oh. It's just like, hey look, there's that there. You just move your you play like queen f three, queen f four, and then you like take on h or on like g um seven mate. And then it actually happened on the game. <laughs> But it was like a very simple, just like, oh, I'm going to move my queen two squares, set up a mate, and take. And then it happened, and I was like, oh my, I'm a genius. It was this during the Florida Poly match? Yeah. No, yeah, so the, the, uh, you were probably watching, right? But I had to open, I wasn't listening the entire time. Oh, yeah, so the, the Rapid was like, we crushed. The Blitz was like, we beat them, but kind of strong. And then the Blitz, the, the Bullet was the closest. I think we won, but maybe like one or two points. The Rapid was like, we had like three times more points than them. Uh -huh. So it was like the match was kind of already over by the time I got to Bullet, but Bullet was oh, because everyone was bad at Bullet. Surprisingly, I was the best by rating. I was better than the whole field in Bullet. Oh. <laughs> so that's saying something. Uh, technically, Andrew kept reminding me that he was better at Bullet too. Oh. The other commentator, but you know, I'm just like, well, you gotta give me this one, okay? I said I don't. I'm not usually the best one when I'm commentating, okay? <laughs> at something. And then we also played someone. We also played one of the competitors, and then Andrew lost. It was very funny. And then I lost. <laughs> uh, to Muhammad. Uh, which is like, I think, 1,200 or 1,100 gold. But it was just, that was funny, because Andrew's like, what, 1,800 gold or something. Ooh. Well, it looks like this has been a pretty smooth game for Sam. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and the knight is trapped on h6 because if knight g8, then rook h8 wins the game. Mm -hmm. Sam finished this game with 3 minutes and 19 seconds. That's like when I played against you, where I look at my clock and I've been down 2 minutes and you're still at the same starting time. I'm just like, what is this? It's so stupid. <laughs> Like, yeah, and especially when you're playing against someone good, because then they can just they think on your time too, and then it's just like I can't even do anything anymore. Yeah, because like I'm, I'm trying to play. Hey, hey, look at Mason. What shirt is he wearing? Is he wearing the? He is. Ooh. Is he wearing the ready or not? Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can see the game. Oh, they're back. They're back. They're back. We can watch the game now. Is this number eighteen? Oh, look, we're all caught up. Everything's good. Oh my. Mason should be white for this game. Then you could play the red here. Yeah, that's true. And then that's he would win true. because he's wearing the shirt. Oh, perfect. I gotta slip my hat around. Sponsor. Oh, Joe didn't see I was wearing the chess.com hat. That's okay, though. What? Look, it's free advertisement. Yeah. They did set up the GGT board for us. Yes, so. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like. Can't can't bash him too hard, you know. Yeah. Why are Andrew and Peyton both taking their shirts? It's kind of funny. The staff shirts are nice. Mm -hmm. They do a good job of distinguishing the staff. I, I think yeah, I think the white's nice. I think when we do the the bright orange, the blue's okay, but the bright orange is a little bit just like. Yeah. I just don't like bright colors too. White's Aiden, very. Aiden you can blend in more, I guess. Yeah. Aiden didn't wear a staff shirt. 
Yeah. Well, he wore a blue. He wore the. You didn't even wear shirt. a club shirt. Like I told you. Well, I never wear a club shirt. That's true. I'm not really in the. I'm not in the shirts. Just like any sort of activity shirt, I'm just never. I'm just like, yeah. I'm this more of a plain is, shirt kind of guy. This position is equal. Bishop e7. Oh, bishop e7. If bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6, queen takes d5, and bishop takes c3. Mm -hmm. And that wins the queen. But Mason with the isolated queen pawn here. I wonder if um, probably Adam's Magnus score would have improved if he'd won, right? His Magnus score? Yeah. Probably. It's Has funny. Sam beaten Magnus? I don't know. I don't think so. Probably not. But he's probably beaten someone who's beaten Magnus. Yeah, that's like Maybe. Let's see. Hmm. I wouldn't so be maybe so... like overall match. Sam Shanklin versus Carlson overall. Something like that. Did he win this one? No. Oh, that was a funny clip from um, Anish Giri. He was talking about, like, Magnus. He was just saying, like, there's t see, there's two types of tournaments. There's tournaments with Magnus, and there's tournaments without him. <laughs> um, and it's just, like, you know, it's and it's just really hard for Magnus, or it's, like, really hard or very easy for Magnus, because it's just, like, you don't really have to play against Magnus. Magnus doesn't have to play against Magnus, because he is Magnus, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Every tournament he plays in, he plays the lowest. His opponents have the lowest average rate. Have lower average rating than he? No, no. Every tournament he, he plays in, like, uh, out of the average rating of opponents that every player has to face, mm -hmm. his is the lowest. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have to play himself. Mm. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Mason is doing well here. Um... He needs to find some activity here, though. So, like, bishop g4 is a good move. Rook c8. Mm -hmm. But Mason is doing well here. I wonder if Sam is still guessing everyone's elo after every game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the other thing, too, is um, when I looked at my Magnus score once, it was really annoying because it went straight through Glenn. I said, like, oh, you beat Glenn. I'm like, what? <laughs> I went through Glenn, like, really? And it was annoying, too, because I think it was just Glenn, either he beat, it, there was just, like, one lucky game where it went from, like, Glenn, and it went down to, like, a 1300, which happened to be, like, an 1800. Yeah. So it was, like, a weird sort of, like, like, it went down. Like, the person that I beat that, like, that was on the track was lower than my rating. Like, oh, that's stupid. Mine might be higher now because I beat the 2300. Yeah. That one game. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Um. So maybe it's okay. He learned to guess higher. Yeah. <laughs> Chess.com does have a feature now where it tell it gives you a predicted elo. Yeah. My over the board Magnus track is I beat Grandmaster James Tarjan, mm -hmm. who beat Kramnik, who beat Magnus. So three? Yeah. I wonder what Magnus is. Magnus score is Wander here. Because he's played people. He's well, beaten he, he people beat who beat somebody him. who's beaten Magnus. So one? Or two? Two. No, one. One? Oh, because some people could have zero. Some people can have a Magnus score of zero. Yeah, if you beat him, it's zero. Oh, wow. So people minus have, two. Minus two. Oh, yeah. People have higher Magnus scores than Magnus himself. Yeah. Unless he ever played himself. <laughs> yeah. It's not oh. taking the bishop. Knight f5 wins the exchange because of the discovery. Mm, yeah. Can you sack? I don't know. Sack the queen and take the knight? You could. Oh, that's the second bet. Oh, the engine says they're about the same. Have we seen any brilliancies since that one game where there were three? I don't think so, but they also haven't been really popping up a lot. Yeah. It's been kind of laggy enough where it's like, I don't know. Um, what is Erdos number of chess players? 
isn't the Erdos number like the math number? Like, if you published with Erdos, your math, your Erdos number is like zero. And if you publish with somebody who published with them, it's like one. Oh. Sam can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> G4, blunder. Why is it a blunder? Weakens the it's a mistake. Blunder is the next one. Oh, yeah. Yes, that is. See, I know the difference between a blunder. Uh oh, flag. Oh, Sam, maybe not. Sam says, yeah. That is correct. Yeah. Not I a know flag. more about math than you. Clearly. That was my friend one time where, like, I'm very skewed on, like, what I'm good and bad at. Yeah. Uh, it's, like, my one friend in, uh, I think, a high school where there was a chem test that was just on significant figures, and he did better than me on it. At, like, one point, because it was just, like, a stupid thing. And he was like, oh, I did better on the math test. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then it was funny, because he also was fluent in Spanish, and I did one point better on a Spanish test than him. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, oh, wow, you're washed. So, yeah. Oh, Mason has some interesting sacrifices going on. Hmm. Our board is not updating. That's okay. So I predict he's going to take the power pool. And they shook hands. Yeah. Well, clearly, if Mason was white and he played the ready, he would have won. Mm -hmm. Because of the shirt. What was the night joke? What was the oh, yeah. It's always a good night for chess. It should have been per like prepare for the nightmare or something. <laughs> That's okay. Something I think you could have made it a bit a bit more intense and dark. Oh, here comes. Oh, David. here's David. The match we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Should we introduce him with his USCF rating or his chess.com blitz rating? No, we should do his bullet rating. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are playing blitz, so. Go, David. That was all. I felt like they were dabbing each other up. He was supposed to lie. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's either they're really tired or you just like. Just... What is David doing? Nice, he sits. Oh, dude. Sam has full control of the center. Interesting. Very interesting. This is so weird. It's always funny when the pawns are like flipped. <laughs> Now there's a, it's an Oreo. <laughs> yeah, I like this position. Look, we have an Oreo. Okay. We got, we got the black <laughs> in there. <laughs> What's this one? White, black, white. There's no vanilla. There, there probably is a reverse Oreo. As there well. probably is. It's a zebra. <laughs> I don't know. It's right. Let them cook. <laughs> I don't mind. I like this position for David. Like, the plans are easy. Um, oh, you did an on piss on. Yeah. Like, F5 here. Oh, uh, I guess F5, E5. You, oh, oops. Cool. We allowed E5. Well, uh oh. Great move. Now, I know this is a pass pawn, but I don't know what type of pawn. Pass pawn is. Well, that's two pass pawns. Now it's two pass pawns. <laughs> <laughs> now it's really bad. <laughs> Um, I would say connected pass. Yeah, these are connected, protected. Oh, we can want to connect five at it too. They're connected, protected passive. Oh, look at this. Look here. If we play here and here, then we have a connect five and a connect four at the same time. Three well, each here other. and then here and then rookie three and then F takes. Double connect five. Yeah. Caster curse. Oh, that is true. I'm hungry. I want to go down and get a cookie. Cookie? You have to eat. If I only eat sugar, then my tummy gets a little bit. All right, now David's uh, scared. So you can just play knight g4 eventually, right? And then, like a queen. I guess it's hard for his queen to get in. 
It feels like it's very easy for black to be attacked in this that way, but white can be attacked too. <laughs> <laughs> like having one pass pawn is bad, but like two connected ones. Mm. Yeah. Better defended. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he didn't go for the connect five. That's tragic. Sam, do we still have cookies downstairs? Here, are there any more of the subway cookies? Sam's our inside man. Yeah. Not Shanklin, for people that are wondering. There's another Sam in the chat. We played him earlier, too. According to the lecture this morning, Sam should start attacking. <laughs> attack the king. I feel like that's oh attack. I mean you kinda of have to. Yeah, you you trade off the pawns. Now it's like you saw. Yeah. Yeah. But he should not promote. He should attack the king first. Yes. And then promote. They're in both at the same time. Don't force the pawn to break. See oh. David. Queen a4 is a nice move here. Queen b3 trades the queens off, right? Yeah. Queen a4 attacks the rook, threatens bishop c4. Bishop c4. Ah. Yeah. That's basically what it's like. Do you play the bet? No. Yeah, you have nothing, right? Yeah. C six is what the enemy says. Queen C six bishop B four. Well Queen C six, can you just still take the rook? <laughs> what? Queen oh C six I saw D six. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Oh, why are you playing it? I'm gonna watch the screen. He's gonna check for us after the game. Oh. Sam, we'll please. allow you. We'll allow you to get a cookie too. Give you the privilege. Well, they have an exchange. Well, he's promoting the pawn without attacking the king. No, he hasn't promoted yet. I guess he could, he's probably gonna play bishop f seven check. Yeah, and then you can promote yeah. with check. Yeah. That's. With the rook, yeah. uh, free bishop. Yeah. D3 check. Oh. And then if you play D2, you're one move away from. That's true. You're one move away from. Wait, how do you? Wait, that's it? not even. Yeah. No, no. Then you can take with the queen. Right? Hey, David is one move away from checkmate. No, no, no. But here you can have, you're threatening, you're threatening here, which is amazing too. So, or three or four. I don't know. No, because queen takes C1, queen D1. Queen takes C1, queen D1. Oh, you don't take back? If I take back, you maybe. No, that's what. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was more unstoppable. But yeah. Queen three. Go. Uh oh, his bishop. And a flop. Well, a good attempt by David. I think it just crashed again. Yeah. I think we have provided less and less chess commentary on every game. Yeah. We woke up early. Yeah. Seven cookies left. All right. Leave them all for me. Well, this should be the last game, right? No, there are three more. Three more? Because oh, we, we raffled, raffled two spots off. What did you guys raffle? I was here the whole time. What? I was here the whole time. What did you guys raffle off? Uh, seven signed books. Seven signed t-shirts and uh, slots for stuff. Yeah, Tickets. two two all comers slots. What are we doing with the other books? Uh, all right, we're giving them away as prizes tomorrow. So that's how we that's how we make money. We collect entry fees. And hand and out we books. hand out books. We don't give out cash. Oh, we're not giving out cash. Well, we are giving out cash. Oh, <laughs> yeah. If you if you consider the cash value of the books, 
And we're paying out more in prizes than we're taking in in equity. <laughs> Challenger 20, Joseph Toth. He got off the waiting list last night. What a story would it be if he won this game? <laughs> oh, are we getting another semi Slav? A Slav? Don't play E6. Don't do it. Uh oh, he played E6. Is it bad? I just don't like the semi Slav. <laughs> See, Sam doesn't like the semi slot either. Well, I mean, he's playing D4. Yeah. We've had this exact position like five times. Yeah. The early E4 push in the semi slot. Yeah. And Joseph, it looks like, has blundered a fork on E5. Um, the room's not coming for me, too. <laughs> he played knight e4, but the uh, knight is also sort of like half on e5. <laughs> A common swindler's tactic. Yeah, then you can accidentally bump it forward when you're trying to get another piece. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Did I see? Is that a queen takes h7? Or it's a bishop takes h7. A Greek gift. Why do they call it the Greek gift? I like gifts. I would take it. They would never trick me. My opponents are kind and trustworthy. So it looks like Sam has found a bishop a3, pinning the queen on d6 to the king on f8. Oh, we're back. This was the wrong scheme. No, what? Really? No. No, this, no, this is the game. Is it, this is the game. Oh, he played e4. What? Oh, because he moved. Yeah, this is David's game. This is David's game. Yeah, this is David's game. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just synced to both of the games. Yeah. Oh, wait, let me try with this. That's weird. I think it's just, let me just try with Russian. Yeah, it just it just went to Davis game for some reason. Yeah. Well, it looks like Joseph is facing a mate on f seven. Queen to f seven. Or no, there's a bishop on h seven. That's not a queen. <laughs> it's hard to do commentary with this small little screen in the corner of the wall. I could make it bigger, but the problem is then all the Sizing would get messed up too. I just want to go mm. down and get a cookie. I'm looking forward to these games ending. I just want to know. Mm. It's already four o'clock. There's a lecture after this too. Well, we'll take a break before lunch. We should take a break. I mean, next trip. <laughs> we. I need a break before the lunch. <laughs> My facial expressions are funny. Honestly, I would actually have fun making content full time. I just don't think I have enough energy to make content full time. Mm -hmm. I think I have. I think I'm controversial enough, but not controversial enough to get canceled. Step one. Hopefully not. You can't get canceled. You have to have hot takes, but not cancelable takes. Is the new meta. You you have to make them seem controversial, but not. Ah, uh, let's see what else to do. Yeah, I just I just don't think I have the energy. It's also kind of fun. It's a lot of work too. It's like maybe I could do it for once and see. <laughs> and we still don't have the game. That's okay. We Lost. Have, we have the clocks. Oh wait, they're back. But let's see if they can. Ooh, we have oh. the clocks, and we know that Sam won, and that's it. Twenty. Yeah. Oh, the same games twice on round nineteen and twenty. Yeah. Well, that's okay.
And I don't know who's up next. Oh, that's funny. It only says we've been streaming for an hour because it, it can see it here. I think the, I'm assuming the recording was the whole time. Because hmm. um, it was a connection issue. Probably. So I don't remember the name of who's going next. I know the guy after them. Who's after them? Ed Weiss. I don't but know. this guy, both of them won their spot through the raffle. Do you want to play him? Or no? no, it's too late. I'll probably play him in it's the hopeless. woods tomorrow. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's hopeless. I'll probably also play him in the raffle tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Could I make content? Let's see. I'm still trying to think. Oh, what? Here's the game, maybe. Oh, now they have two games here. Is 19 also that one? I think 19 and 20 and 21 are all the same game. Uh -huh. Apparently, it's Aiden Wood. Aiden Wood. Good luck, Aiden. Don't make your free prize not worth it. Something. Did I spell your name right too? I'm assuming I did. Did I have a question? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just realized that. It was spelled wrong for like six months on the FCA website. Uh oh. They they like did not use my name correctly for like six months. Mm -hmm. Like it was D E R E C K on the website, and they would email me and write D E R R I C K. That's me. Oh, that's just you. I guess Glenn is doing some DGT yeah. shenanigans. Things. Yeah. If we have time after the lecture, I think we'll do a dinner break. And then we'll do the blindfold stuff, and then we'll head home for the evening. Yeah. I mean, we can always pull people, too, of, like, who would want to do some fun things after. Yeah. We can say, or we'll say we'll vote. We'll, we can announce it, too. We'll say we'll vote after um, whoever comes back after dinner will vote on what things we want to do. We can do things like... No, democracy is bad. Really? Yeah. To raise hands for protest. Democracy is bad. We're gonna be um. What is it? Not elitism, but what's what's the tip? Oligarch oligarchy. Maybe? Oligarchy, like. Is that elite? Is that like elitism? That's like rule by a uh, elite minority. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Which would just mean, or no, we were we could be a republic because technically we're elected. Yes. So if we pick, it's a republic. Yes. Just not everyone in the room gets voting privileges. Yes. <laughs> they gave their voting privileges to us. Yes. Well, another semi-slob. Or no, not a semi-slob, because the nighttime sees that. And we still can't see the game. At least it stopped working, and now. We got a good chunk. Three hours worth of stuff. Yeah. Mm. If it doesn't work soon, I'm going to go down and eat a cookie. <laughs> Could leave me here all by myself. I have to close out. Yeah. I don't think I have it. I don't have it in me. I'm going to fall down. I'm going to fall on my chair and be like, ugh. But if this were like a real sports broadcast, you would be the play-by-play -play announcer and I would be the analyst. So you would have to close it out. Okay. I'm the personality of the stream right now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. I don't have to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm being fairly interesting. I was talking, I think that's, um, I was doing that with Andrew too, where like you actually don't want to talk about chess the whole time yeah. when you're streaming. Um, you want, you got to get people's focus back in. So you do side stories about chess and like talk about real life or whatever. Because yeah. you can't, if it's a video, if it's like a YouTube video, you can talk about chess the whole time. If it's three hours, I can't talk about chess for three hours and make it fun. <laughs> you know uh, sam did that but he's he wrote a book about it so i think he he did it for two hours technically but he also uh, you know spent his whole life doing it so it's um probably easier well we still can't see the board but it's okay. yeah it was fun while it lasted
Sam, can you make sure that Trey saw my message in the Discord? Let's see, can we look at the position? There's a queen on c5. Oh, he dropped a knight for free. <laughs> yes, he did. I think we've lost the attention of some of the people in the room. <laughs> you have a... I think a break is good. A break is good. A break is very good. You can't blank. Yes. I guess that is true. I guess people can watch, but yeah. I think this is one of those things it makes sense to have people watch it in like in post rather than like if we sh like it's better for people to have the option to watch this or not. Like mm. if that makes sense. Like more online versus like in person then it feels weird where you're just like like probably most people don't care about watching another person play. You know him. Yeah. And it's also been three hours of watching two people play chess. Yeah. It's a little too close. Do you want to just make that one bigger and get rid of the board? Um, let's see. I could try. Um, let me try to turn this off just so I don't have to look in the comments <laughs> instead of that. There you go. Mm, I think this is fine. All right. Um, let's go here. Oh, I am losing stuff. Oh, well. So let's go here and die. And then we go here. It's fine. Let's do this over here. Well, it looks like Sam is up a piece and a pawn. And he just won a queen. He won a game. <laughs> and we have one more game to go. The second raffle winner for All Comers Quest Challenge spot, Ed Weiss. We're actually finishing a lot closer to 4.30 than I thought I would, than, we, than I thought we would. This needs to loop in. Ah, there we go. It didn't work. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we tried it. Best. Sam looks tired. He does. I was surprised when uh, we talked to him in the room. He seemed like I would have been really tired, but he seemed like he had. He was still like. Yeah. I guess it's a different part. Like it's like I think that's the difference. Streaming, you use a lot of emotional stuff, where he's probably just mentally more tired rather than like. Yeah. I think it's just I have to be on my. That's the tiring part about stream. You have to be on your best behavior, and like you're always have to worry about. I don't say people liking you. But you got a Benoni. You don't want to be boring. You have to always worry about not being boring. Yeah. It's a lot of mental anguish. When it's over three hours. Yeah. I think that's what could be too. Maybe content. Maybe it's like recording. I would rather be like some sort of PR guy for someone else's yeah. and be able to give them advice of <laughs> than actually do it myself. Chess.com loaded. That's okay, we'll just watch on here. Let's see. Looks huh? like a pretty standard Benoni. Yeah, the problem is I didn't duplicate it, so it'd be take a bit to fix it. What do you think? Just watch it here? Yeah. Yeah, we only have like two games left, I think it's fine. No, this is the last game. Oh yeah, we're fine then. Sam, make sure Trey knows saw my thing in the Discord after. Glenn's school notes are slowly peeking out from under the board. <laughs> what if, I wonder what it is. Math? Sets and logic. 
Well, he said one of them was linear algebra. You, I did linear algebra. He told him. I wouldn't even be able to describe to you what linear algebra is. I took the class and I don't even know what it's <laughs> Uh, do you know what matrices are? Matrix. I I've done matrix algebra. That's all it is. Oh really? Linear algebra is just, just matrix. Okay. I don't know matrices for linear algebra. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a bit more. It's a bit more like theory, I guess. Like they have different, a bit more of like space. They did a lot of like vector because each row, each column is a vector. So then you have like vector spaces and like domain range within each thing. It gets complicated like that, but. Mm. It's it's all just the actual like computation side is all um, matrices. I think Ed is doing a good job here. Sam has traded the queens and the Bononi, and the knight on b five is very solid, but there is still some pressure here for Black. Let's find the most bored audience member in the room. See, even this guy in the back seems pretty engaged in the top right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard. No, actually. This guy in the top left is just doing his homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many people are just doing their homework? Yeah. Tony is very engaged. Yeah. You know, we're bored. We're not even paying attention to the chess. <laughs> He's like, uh, look who else is bored like <laughs> us. This guy in the front looks pretty bored. Yeah. He's got his leg up. Sure. I'll put my leg up too. No, I'm too tired to play. <laughs> I told him. Okay, thanks, Sam. I think Ed's doing a good job here. You know? He's putting pressure. 93 is coming. Maybe I'll do homework. I think Andrew said he was going to do homework during this. I just want a cookie. That's my recurring trope today. Yeah. I, I feel like I want to be in the lecture for logistics, but I might just have to do homework because it's one of those where I'm feeling, I think I've had too much chest for the day to actually get anything out of the lecture. <laughs> so, yeah, no offense to Sam or anything. The first one was, it was not extremely high level, but I mean, you know, he's obviously very good. So it's, his thing was very high level. And it was just like me trying my best to understand what was he was talking about. Mm -hmm. And I do not have the energy to try to do that right now. Which is fine. I think Ed's doing well here. You should... I'll clip it and ship it for the time Adam almost beat a GM. <laughs> Over the board. Over the board! Technically. Yeah. I think it was better for Ed there to take with the pawn instead of the rook on b3, because now Sam will be winning the b3 pawn. Is that harder for you to play or analyze sideways? Um, yeah. For me, I've found it. There's a lot of pattern. I think it's just pawns are like really confusing how pawns work. Yeah. For vis for like visualizing stuff. The other pieces are kind of tough. I know. Oops, oh. there there goes the knight. Mm -hmm. They're probably getting low on time. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Actually, I might here. Let me go. I can probably get here. I'll move it over here for us. I know. They've still got a minute. All right, now we can see the board. I think. Is this the game? Yeah. Just now it's not updating. Oh, I think Ed dropped his knight while we were looking away. But I think Ed played a great game. Ah, there we go. Plus eight, plus nine now. This is a great try. Definitely pose some problems. And that's the last game. That's the last game. Yeah. All righty. All right. Well, I'm going to go down and yep. get a cookie. And I am going to head out. <laughs> okay. All right. Cookie time. Yep.
Hi, everyone. Thanks Hi. for people that came up. Uh, we're going to figure out some way to post this, maybe on YouTube. Maybe we'll just leave it on the Twitch VODs. Okay. Hey, we, I did record this whole thing, so we could do something with it. All right, but anyways, bye, everyone. Thanks for everyone that joined us.